What is poppin' everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Only Friends Podcast. And you know, I'm here with my only friends. And we got my number one in the building. Number one. You like that, huh? Yeah. Well, you know why I'm the number one today? That jacket? Well, of course, the jacket is <laughs> fresh as fuck, but we're also joined by uh, number <clears throat> two. Debatable. <laughs> you, I, I, so I haven't been here in a while. Have you been doing this thing? You're talking to Conrad, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the every day. You know, I just got to be warmed up, you know? You got to get the fuck what? going. You got to get it popping. What were you and Landon calling that the other day? I don't know. Do we have a name for it? Yeah, or was it Landon and somebody else who was talking about it when you guys were flailing about oh, stimming? Oh, stimming. Yeah. Yeah, he's stimming. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's how Conrad opens every show. Just it's true. stimming I, uncontrollably. His hands, his hands actually move faster than his speech, which is a very weird. <laughs> right. Well, it's like he's pulling the words out. Right. <laughs> you gotta find it within. Good point. Good point. With my only friends, and I'm, I'm actually sure that that was a crutch to begin with because he. He doesn't think faster than he talks. Uh -huh. So he right. wanted to. No, like, no, no, no. I definitely think faster than I talk. No, that's I think the that's the problem. That's yeah, the problem. no, that's, that's for sure the problem is that you talk faster than you no, think. No, he, he talks me, slower. I think faster than I talk. Go on. He, he, I think is, that he's he's already on the next sentence while he's. This is why know. I can never get anything out. <laughs> I understand because oh, my, I, my of, brain's similar. I'm of the exact opposite impression uh, that yeah. he needed to slow things down no. in order to know where the fuck he was going next. No, no, no. I'm no, sure no, there's see. some instances. Henry, what's your that? opinion on that? I'm, I'm, I'm loving how he's just showering him as soon as, <laughs> soon as we've got live. Who showered me? Look, he's trying to shower you, Berkey. He shower shit. That's <laughs> that's because dusty bastard. Okay, first shower. of all, can we talk about what Berkey's wearing today? I am actually like looking it. fresh. I, do you like the, the bottoms? Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, right, oh, look, yeah. not talking about his bottoms. Nobody can see his bottoms. Yeah, look. You guys like, know if we learned like anything during the, the Zoom looks, era, I think the top looks good. It's very Halloween, like Thanksgiving vibes. Oh, uh, it's However, uh, first day of deer season out, vibes. Can we, can you deer walked camp? out with orange and black shorts and leggings. That was a coincidence. And you have like a little orange on your shoe too so you, that was for sure so you super matched like and your headphones too so like you're super matching right, we're, we're right. stretching first of all these headphones are red <laughs> <laughs> this is pink on my shoes you're just really trying to make this worse than it actually <laughs> is there you are. has been back for three seconds. She's already gaslighting me. I'm <laughs> taking over and I'm roasting everyone. This is like, you guys have needed this for a while, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. We, <laughs> you, you look like a father of five that like just is about to go power. Look, look around you know, the room. Like, three, like, it's like a father who like had to rush to take his kid to the hospital. So he just like put on like, <laughs> you know, whatever. Uh, you guys don't true. understand. This is PA chic. Okay. This is. It sure yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> sure is. This is second mm -hmm. week at deer camp you know yeah. all the guys are here uh -huh. we drink some brews we we shoot some tunes have you ever even gone hunting no have you ever even tried yoga <laughs> I've, I've done yoga i think yes. you're good at yoga aren't you uh, yeah i'm actually quite limber shockingly uh i was a huge fisherman growing up that didn't bother me at all gutting fish no problem flaying them eating them all fine the idea of shooting bambi too much for me couldn't do it and squirrels just seemed you know useless to kill yeah. they're so tiny yo somebody was telling me about how they have um like at the beginning of rabbit season, they let like a bunch of rabbits go and they run in figure eights and you try to shoot them. Who? I've never heard anything about this. Oh, uh, Who tries to shoot them? Well, like this is a big thing. Like the whole town goes out and Where? does it. <laughs> <laughs> the, the whole town? town? Yeah. This is Conrad this Town Rabbit Hunt. I think this is a cartoon. <laughs> no, no, this is real life. Like it, somebody told me this last night and I was just like... What? Wait, what's so going on right now? the whole town right gets now? up and follows rabbits in a figure eight. So the rabbits run, when you release the rabbits, they run in a figure eight. And Where? Like, huh? In the field or something? Yeah, yeah whatever. Okay. Whatever they do. <laughs> the whatever they, they do in the middle there. of America, like, you know, a little sure. bit south. In Pittsburgh. Sure, yeah, exactly. Man, relax, man. <laughs> rabbit hunting is hardly big in Pittsburgh. Okay? It's the annual Pittsburgh Rabbit Fest, <laughs> hosted by Conrad. <laughs> That's outskirts. No. Of Wasn't this an Elmer Fudd bit? Like, kill the wabbit, <laughs> yeah, wabbit. kill the wabbit. But it was real, apparently. <laughs> I don't know, man. You might be like confusing this with a cartoon you no, saw. No, trust me. <laughs> Listen, guys. Somebody said I'm right in the chat. It happens, all right? It's just Perfect. what that you're right. Yeah, that's <laughs> fucking rare for sure. Yeah. Uh, so you were doing a little drinking last night, or you've actually just lost your mind attempting to catch the runner? Um, what day of the week was it? It was, Tuesday it was night. a Tuesday. Guys, I was joking. It ended with a Y. I was doing whatever I do. Okay. <laughs> when, was that, 
Well, you left some sort of like demonic voicemail for the runner that now the entire world has heard. And by the entire world, I mean like 165 people who viewed it. But uh, what? You runner, runner, runner. <laughs> what is the point of this? I'm confused. I just want to leave a voicemail. Say hi. Okay. But why would you want the runner to know you know he, him? Don't you want to keep him guessing? What makes you think I told the correct information? Mm. I don't know. You didn't tell much information. You just sort of was exactly. like, you did a joker thing. I mean, you're still just having fun. You just you're still scared everyone. In, you're still here in Vegas, so I think that in and of itself is. A we little don't concern. know that I'm here in Vegas right now. I could be on the chin thing. Ah, yeah. We've superimposed. Yeah, the, uh, I'm in Mexico right now. Sure. Well, he's not in Mexico. I know. I'm just, Mexico. I'm, I'm just waiting for my um, connecting flight. Mm -hmm. I was in El Paso last you night. You see where I think that he's not thinking ahead of his words? Yeah. You, think, you see where that yeah. might be possible? Yeah. I think there are some instances where he's not. <laughs> you, know, you, you know from The Office when Michael Scott said that sometimes he just starts a sentence and doesn't really know where it's going to go? Correct. Mm -hmm. That's Conrad. Yeah. Oh, you, yeah. Guys, you guys realize I also don't want to give any information, right? Oh, yeah. Like, it's we super know. tight. We, know. we fucking know. We know. Every day he just gaslights the chat. Like, he comes guys. in. He well, First of all, he comes in. He doesn't tell us anything. He makes it confusing on purpose. And then he calls us idiots <laughs> no no he doesn't call us idiots he calls me an idiot all of us well, he no, says you guys are idiot, momos idiot, but I call you the the idiot. Momo. <laughs> momo is short for moron by oh the way. okay yeah so momo is short for moron yeah, yeah. What? And he's saying all these cryptic clues, and then we're like, "What are you talking about? You guys are momos. You don't know the who the runner well, is." The big you don't know no no The connection there is that fucking Berkey is just like telling me that I'm wrong, and it's like you guys are momos. I'm just saying there's a greater chance that you're wrong than right, but the, yeah, the, the course, other thing is, is he'll numbers. put a sentence in there that's supposed to divulge all of the information. And it's missing seven words and four others are misspelled. We'll be like, don't tell anyone, I'll kill you if you do. And we're like, we can't even understand what you're saying. <laughs> like, no one can decipher this code, man. Yeah. You've left out some really key information. And these three words are misspelled so badly, I can't even begin right. to guess what they are. And well, that's because I'm idiots. moving fast, you know? Yeah. I don't tell you. Yeah, there's, I got shit to do, there's man. numbers in there. And I really don't care to explain to you guys. Henry, what the fuck are you doing back <laughs> in the States, man? I don't know, man, but just to follow on from Conrad going after the runner, I got out of the shower this morning. It's like 10 a.m. And I'm like, bro, do you want a coffee? He's like, no, I've already had four. I was like, what do you mean you've already had four? It's 10 a.m. He's like, listen, there's a runner to catch. You know? <laughs> oh, that's too much information already. By, uh, by runner, runner, he's just going to run after him on the highway. <laughs> no, I had the funniest thing. I was like, man. What if I was just like driving one day and I just like look or just look over and I see them and I'm just like hanging out the window? What's the phrase again? <laughs> what? The, the, the phrase is, are you a Momo? No, no, no. What's the phrase? Rabbit like, hunting. Yeah, but like how do you feel about, about rabbit hunting? He's like gonna hanging catch out the runner the winner. and forget the phrase. <laughs> gonna yeah, take and the I'm going to run away. I'm going to be yeah. so excited. Yeah, I'll just have to chase him while I'm looking at my phone. I'm like, okay, what is it? Right. Yeah, no, I'll be so excited that I probably will just like he's, completely. He's going to hit him with, uh, got your ass. He's just going to start booking it out of Dodge. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling my girlfriend that, like, well, imagine, like, I see this person, and they just start running, and, like, then there's a black guy chasing this person through a casino. <laughs> and, like, I'm just going to jail. Yeah. <laughs> like, how do I explain this? Hey, get I'm back a, here! I'm a bounty hunter! Dude, yeah. like, they're like, holy shit, this guy's lost They're it. like, holy shit, it's the Joker from the voice audio. <laughs> I haven't taken a shower, my hair's a mess, I'm just gonna go into jail. Oh yeah. Christ, oh, man! God. This this competition is bringing the absolute worst out of us. I, I would love to see Conrad's get. It. I, I actually, like, I, it, I'm it rooting would be for good him. for morale. What it do you mean good us? What do you, what do you, you mean? think well, it's bringing the worst out of us? I mean, he's a reflection yeah, of us. There's only one of us True. losing our minds here. Yeah, yeah but it's, it's a trickle down effect. We're giving it attention. It's actually occupying some portion of my mind at this point. I mean, yeah. it's, it's getting you bad. are probably second most invested out of all of us. <laughs> That's that, that is true. I don't even want to win. I just want it to end. <laughs> Honestly, I'm kind of sad that it's ending because, like, what am I going to do next week? I'm going to lose my mind. Have you, guys, <laughs> you might regain your mind, you actually. Are. I assume, yeah, so I assume you've fun. all, like, watched some sort of, like, terrible crime syndicate drama that, that you know, is just always rerunning and whatnot. The, for me, it was the show Scorpion. It was, I fucking love that show. Me too. But Scorpion's it was, great. It was 
awful. It's so bad and it's Man. so good. It's awful. like so like. Well, it was good and then it kind of got redundant. I, no, it was always, it's always awful. awful. <laughs> nah, Scorpion's fine. Bro, like <laughs> these people, they were regular humans. One of them was like a super intellect, right? He claimed he had like a 200 IQ, but none of them had any special skills. One was a waitress. Another one was just like uh, a, another like bona fide genius who like, you know, hacked computers and whatnot. Like, so they have maybe a, a perhaps a janitor. Yeah, who works per, in a, perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> perhaps. He's good at math. So like, yes, yes. <laughs> Goodwill hunting, precisely <laughs> like off Goodwill precisely hunting. like the premise of Goodwill hunting, right? But they all start working for the police, and uh, of course, like their super intellect helps solve crimes. But the the issue with the show is they're also just expected to be policemen. Uh, at the same token. So every show ends in a firefight. It's like, none of you have ever fired a weapon. How are you? Like, like they get out of the most extreme scenarios, like being both smart and savvy with weapon, uh, no. weapons. Well, yeah, having a high IQ makes you good at operating weapons. Yeah, that's, immediately, yeah, without you, ever you don't having have to any learn. training. No. Insane. It's the worst show ever. But that's what this competition feels like to me. Watching it from afar, seeing uh, psychopaths like Conrad... Devo devoting like you know 36 hours out of a 24 hour day <laughs> Psycho psychopath adjacent right? he's right, the descent into madness you're yeah, not, you're not yeah. a true psychopath thank, I yet i appreciate that i feel like i'm tuning in every day to you're getting there <laughs> you yelled at me and i didn't like it <laughs> <laughs> there was just a day where he's like i'm 100 percent confident i said okay let's let's give conrad some money you want to bet me 90 to 1 shut the fuck up <laughs> yeah, shut the fuck up that is the dumbest thing okay, to say but, you know, but that i mean if you're 100 percent confident that's right. a really good you're price. stealing it doesn't matter i have to lay 90 fucking thousand to win what i want yeah, man. <laughs> so like, tab. but you're, like, you're <laughs> stealing it doesn't matter it's just so all right fine let's bet nine dollars landon okay deal all right cool my bet and put my money where my okay, mouth okay so is. you get nine cents <laughs> you get nine cents is funny. it even nine cents or is it point nine nah. cents I'm, I'm bad with the zeros <laughs> wait so am i the one that's betting Giving you, you nine dollars, you, you get to win nine dollars. No, nine, nine cents to win nine dollars. If he's wrong, yeah, you yeah. have to pay me nine cents. If I'm right, <laughs> if right. he's right, <laughs> he wins nine cents. Yeah. No, it's that's really high conviction here. No, it's definitely not nine cents. That's a hundred to one. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. nine cents. Right. Yeah, all right, my bad. That's all right, don't worry. I was thinking a thousand to one in my head. Yeah, you were just yeah, thinking nine. ahead, you know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can't wait to get some nine dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you want a coffee with that? I'll give it back to you. I Honestly, that, I yeah. hope he wins because watching you pay him nine cents would be so much more. <laughs> I'll pay him on the podcast. I'll pay him on the podcast. <laughs> One. Yep. <laughs> two. Three. Yeah. We'll, we'll make a big scene out of it. Really yeah. is a dream. Well, he'll get $30,000 if he's right. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, that's true. Uh, free, oh, free trip to the Bahamas. 30270 50. And nine cents. Go on. And nine, nine cents. cents. Why did... Waxman gave me two and a half to one. We had, me and Wax have like a prop, <laughs> oh, yeah. a prop bet, two and a half to one. You have a gender so. bet. I have a prop bet. That's all I have. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What is wrong with these people? I understand. Why like, is this, He it, acts like the, some of this information <laughs> is so top secret when it's like not right. at all. Right. No, it's insane. It's like, work it out. The it's gender like, bet doesn't give anyone <laughs> any clues. Because what, there, what do you mean? You Obviously, it does. It, it means I betting. think it's a female or he thinks it's a female or and like the opposite. Sure. Yeah, so one of you thinks it's female and one of you thinks it's male. But there's no reason why people would ever think it's the so other. So why does that give anyone any clue? Because. <laughs> if one thinks that oh, somebody's ahead so of the much. no no no, if one thinks somebody's ahead of the other, if someone, then they would just start running off that track. But especially nobody knows it, which one of you thinks it was a female or male. Well, this doesn't give anyone any information. It, it, if you look at things, you can figure it if out. Sure, look at right, right, yeah. sure. You if, if we spend, look, if we spend all your time <laughs> dissecting Conrad the way he spends all his time dissecting the runner, right. you'll eventually be hot on Conrad's uh -huh. trail. You'll spend fifteen on minutes he and figure it out. Whether it's a female out. or a male, not even who uh, who it is. You right. can spend fifteen that. minutes to figure it out. All right, Henry, who is it? Fuck no, it's Henry. <laughs> he thought it was Corey. I know. I yeah, he did. Comes yeah. Up, this this was so so adorable. He comes up to me. He goes, mate. <laughs> He I'm, does. This is great. Am I make, make get, sure do the accent. Am I going to get in trouble if I catch the runner? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, after the whole like uh, Nemo giveaway yeah. thing, yeah. I was just like, well, if it's one of your crew and then I'm staying here in Vegas, right. Right. then well, so everyone's going to be like, well, that's sus. I'm shell shocked. I have no idea what he's talking about. I go, what the fuck are you talking about? He goes, he goes you know. I mean, you know. I thought you knew. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know anything. He goes, it's Corey. <laughs> no, it's not Corey. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> I think it's pretty fucking likely to be Corey. I'm like, you should ask him. <laughs> and I saw all of like the, I, there's just so many things pointing to him. And then, yeah. 
That's kind of thing pointed. <laughs> no, I mean, oh, he was out of town for a period. He's traveling. He had a poker stars thing in his story. Yeah, like, that was that was a, a poor coincidence uh, for you to the, fall down a rabbit hole, decoy. basically. Yeah, it was a good decoy. That's the thing is, everything becomes a decoy when you start looking hard enough. Yeah, I learned this after. And it's honestly, this is why we're so skeptical of Conrad right now because during the whole, you know, Robbie thing. There was he was going down every single rabbit hole there was. Right. Mm -hmm. So now we know, you know, that that could be happening now. Tell the fuck out. Everybody was going down every rabbit hole. Well, there was. No, not quite. Yeah, like just you because were. I looked at some other things. Not quite like you we were. were all going down the rabbit hole. Like, yeah, I deep. might have spent a lot of hours looking <laughs> at things, but you know. I'm fucking not stupid. I know something's going on. Yeah, so, you, whatever. Well, okay. it, it is very similar. He was staying up <laughs> all, all hours of the night trying yeah. to figure this out. Yeah, of course. He's like, an internet sleuth. Yes. Yeah, when in when way, there's an answer to be told, you know, and effort. when there's an answer to be told, you know, I'm going to try to look for it. Well, that, that does give us a bit of a good segue, I guess. So, uh, thanks for the layup. I'm going to use it. Dunk. Um, a few things coming out of the HLC corner. Uh, appreciate you, as always. Uh, a few things coming out of the HL, uh, sorry, HCL corner. <laughs> Stop. Um, we'll, we'll start with the most recent news. So they released the report today. Uh, we're not going to do much of a deep dive on this because it was literally five minutes before going live. So I haven't really had a chance to, to look through anything. Uh, the two things that stuck out to me uh, of note was that they found no conclusive evidence of wrongdoing in the Jack forehand or any other hand played that night. I don't think anybody's too shocked by that. Um, uh, and you know, that's obviously the declaration that we expected. Um, the two points from the investigation that I want to look further into, because it seems weird that they can be so confident is that the deckmate shuffling machine is secure and cannot be compromised. Um, it'd be nice to know if it's a deckmate two or not, because if it's a deckmate two, then that's just fundamentally false. Uh, deckmate twos, we do know can be compromised mm -hmm. and have been compromised in the past. Uh, now, if they have a deckmate two where the camera has already been removed and modified, that just seems like relevant information. But again, I haven't dug through the report yet, so maybe they clarify that. Um, I'm uncertain. Uh, the second portion that uh, I would like to have a lot more clarity on is how they concluded that there was no um, issues or no ability to cheat uh, based off the two-way communication or one-way communication, whatever it was, between the... Um, Put the statement back up. I'm freestyling here for no reason. Um, so it was radio communication to the floor camera operator was not an issue in the Lou Adelstein hand. Um, I, I guess I would just like to know more. Uh, and maybe that's in the report. Maybe it's not. I'm uncertain. But uh, we know that that was on an open signal. So anybody who was able to pick up on the channel would have been able to pick up on any communication between uh, the production house and the cameraman. Um, I don't know if they're saying that there's somehow proof, like they have a recording of what was said and there was no information divulged. I highly, highly doubt that that's the case. Why would that be a recorded line? Um, it's just a, a, a radio. Um, <clears throat> and maybe they're just basically saying like, it's a low probability that anybody, or maybe they went through the footage and didn't see anybody using a, a, a comm anywhere on the floor. I don't know. Uh, I just think that's a that's a very sus statement to say with the utmost confidence. Wait, that, hold like, on. <clears throat> good. Are you saying that a report that a company did an investigation <laughs> on themselves is sure. sus? To make sure. to make something even better, <laughs> apparently Robbie was the one that walked up to Chad Holloway and was like, "Here's the report." <laughs> right, right, right. All right, sure. Okay. Uh, sure. So yeah, it's a yes. mockery. Yeah. <laughs> I love this shit. I, I mean, yes, it's, it, it is a bit of a mockery, I would imagine. But again, uh, I, I do want to, you know, give the security company that they hired some benefit of the doubt, at least from the technical side of things. Uh, just taking a quick glance, it looks did like... Did they say the name of the security company? They did. Uh, I don't have it in front of me. Do we know um, who their cousins are? No, we do not know. Who we will and, next NB week. Security company. <laughs> we will next week. Uh, they. I found my next job. This, this industry is just fucked, man. Oh, 100 percent. Seriously, 100 percent. Yeah, it's not great. It's not. It's 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 definitely not great. Um, I want to dig into that more. We can actually have a full blown conversation on it tomorrow. I'll give my thoughts. Um, as far as like the upgraded security that they're saying that they've uh 
decided to imp implement moving forward. I mean, at this point, like, you know, we didn't expect them to find anything because obviously that's not the intention of them doing an investigation. Uh, what is the intention? To have PR. better practice. Yeah, PR and to have better practices moving forward. Okay. So really the conversation revolves around like how much trust is there in this stream moving forward and like, you know, can we as a community expect a higher bar to be set in the streaming space? Uh, I think this whole um investigation i guess uh both publicly sourced and privately sourced by them has uh made a lot of the stream houses a lot more conscientious at least so we have seen wide sweeping change across the industry i think standards are being raised uh, i think you know uh, uh polk is a good example of that at the lodge where he is uh relaunching his entire stream i think in february he he said uh, where they're addressing a lot of the security issues that may have existed there. Uh, so at a bare minimum, like hopefully we'll have a more uh, trust-based system, or sorry, trustless-based system. Uh, you know, Andrew Milner released a ma massive update uh, to Poker GFX, which allows it to be operated trustless now where you don't have to scan your cards. We'll see if Hustler is going to implement that or not. Um, based off of my cursory glance, it doesn't look like they are, but uh, we'll, we'll kind of see moving forward. Uh, the other thing that came across my desk that I've been getting blown up about, all of you in the comments, uh, in my mentions, and in my DMs, is apparently Mickey was on the Vertucci show yesterday. <laughs> I mean... I just can't ignore this. I'm this sorry. Was so, it was such an unnecessary way. He, the camera was on you, and he slid... Well, the camera's right it there. completely necessary. Uh, I was trying to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sliding out, descent like a salamander. It's a madness. Con Connor has to poop. Uh, it's a so slow we're... descent. <laughs> we're gonna let him off the hook. He here. just slid down onto the. I wish I filmed that. He just slid <laughs> out of his chair. It's like he was trying to the do scenes. the limbo. He melted. Yeah. This is where uh, uh, having PTZ cameras would be great because, like, we just, we just have like a roving camera. Then anytime yeah. somebody does stupid off cam, you right. just zoom right in on them. <laughs> we'll get there someday. Um, Good luck, Conrad. But one, one of the things that uh, has come across my desk is apparently Mickey was on the Vertucci show yesterday and was just eviscerating me. For what reason? Who knows? One could only speculate, but uh, I've met Mickey one time. I played with him once on Hustler. He didn't play day two. We had, you know, exchanged maybe five words at most. Uh, I believe we didn't talk at all during the session. I saw him after the session outside of Baccarat and you know just kind of said what's up asked me if he was from Vegas and that was kind of the end of it I have no beef to be clear with Mickey uh if anything that I said on our podcast was taken the wrong way I apologize but uh we're just going to show you a real quick cut up of uh his interview and our interview that he was referencing warning if you're faint of heart or easily offended this show is not for you uh I I forget the names all now. I know Matt Berkey was in there. To be honest, that's a huge deterrent for me. I'm not a big fan he, of Berkey. He was in. He was in where? Was one of the other shows I was supposed to play last week. Yeah. Uh, well, just so you know, I I didn't make him say that. Okay, <laughs> that's on you, bro. Yeah. As a matter of fact, this is probably gonna do better for his brand. Just me, Mickey, just saying his name than anything he'll probably ever do. Right. <laughs> so I played. Oh my god. The I heat play, I'm gonna take. Go. I love. Yeah, it. No, I mean, whatever, I want man. you he to be you. He can suck my dick, man. So listen to this, bro. Okay. So I. <laughs> So I play on this show, right? Okay, yeah. On your guy's show, and he's at the table, and he was one of the losers for the first five hours. I'm the only winner. When Phil Ivey was there, I'm the only winner, yeah. right? Anyway, so some time goes on, and I'm looking at something uh, that came up when you searched my name, and it was a, a, a video, and they used uh, Adam22 as a thumbnail. And I'm like, oh, I've done a few interviews with Adam. Yeah, yeah. That's my boy, you know. I click it, and it's Matt Berkey talking trash on me to Adam on his own show. Yeah. I want to talk about your interview with Mickey. Yeah. <laughs> Mickey is a specimen. This is a fact. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Uh, I, I had the pleasure of playing with him. He is a very unique creature, to say the least. So, so he, out of nowhere, he like, he and I, this is, we've never even like had a real conversation like outside the poker table. And he starts talking about me that I have no ability to ever become a top ranking poker player and that I'm an animal or I'm some kind of like creature, a beast or whatever. What? Uh, I, I guess <laughs> give me your perspective because Damn. he's kind of more in your world than mine, creature. as weird as that may sound. Right. I mean, my impression of him at first and I kind of had to like apologize because he had reached out to a mutual friend before I even really knew that much about him and was like, ask Adam if he wants to interview me. And I think my response to my friend was like, 
I just interviewed Phil Hellmuth. I'm not interviewing this random fucking scammer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which, even though we're cool now, I don't think is that unfair. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> you're going around saying you could be Bhagavad and all this stuff. It's kind of like, you know, I, I, my reflexive instinct is just say, yeah, it's sure. a scam, you know? Like, yeah. and, uh, you know, I tried to ask him about poker and his strategy. He said he was working on getting better, which, I mean, I don't know if that's actually a real thing or not, but. I think he's actually, well, Doug Polk's a great poker player. I don't think Matt Berkey's a good player. I don't, I don't think he is. I don't even. Well, I think that he's probably beating a lot of the games that he plays. Maybe not a lot, but he's beating some of the games he plays. Mm -hmm. he's, at least he's competitive. Um, he's not going to get to the point where he's profitable in a open game or even in those hustler lineups, but he's a gambler. So like, that's kind of okay. I'm, I'm so perplexed by all of this. Uh, I just watched the actual interview yesterday and it was just like this weird random hit piece, like kind of sandwiched in between hearing about him talk about having his feces eaten by a girl oh, and <laughs> fucking uh, Nick like being uh, super by the way, I, did, I didn't appreciate them saying that about me either. Wait, what about what? That I ate his feces. It's not nice. <laughs> they, they said that? No, I'm kidding. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, make, but he, make the joke's funny next time. Come on. <laughs> Actually, I, I, I botched that one. Well, you were a little too stone-faced. I'm like, wait, what did I miss? <laughs> it's too dry. And also, I didn't listen to the whole interview, so it was like, it was really had a shot. Um, yeah, I, I'm just very confused. I, I obviously don't have anything to say about it. I just thought it was uh, worth pointing out that we're not like some hit piece podcast that, that he kind of claims. Uh, and whatever, man. Like, I stink at poker. Then why the fuck are you ducking a lineup with me? Like, <laughs> I've never had a whale in a game where I was just like, you know what? I don't like the cut of that guy's jib. But I'm not gonna fucking play. <laughs> no, he's right. You're not good at poker. I'm, yeah, you should I'm, play more. Yeah, that's fair. I should play more. But yeah. serious douchebag vibes from that guy. Oh man, you're not feeling it. Yeah, would you trust it. him to watch your like Dog. if you had a like a kid? Would you let them be babysat by him? Why not? He just strikes me as like, uh, am I allowed to put people on blast? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, apparently that's what we that's, do. That's what we do. <laughs> that's, 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 that's what this is. Yeah, our, our whole show, show about. Apparently. Listen, man, we're a bunch of blasters, so join the club. Mm -hmm. yeah, what, what did you call him? A specimen. I, I, I say, so, you did say creature. So apparently, uh, and to be fair, like uh, Melissa pointed out, like my language choice there wasn't good. When I say those <laughs> things, like I think. When I say specimen, I think of like superhuman. So yeah. you were not saying it to say he's a superhero. You say that, though. but like I think you're thinking in terms of poker, and I wasn't talking about him as a poker player. I'm what talking about creature. Same thing. Like uh, like he lives a life that I just cannot, for the life of me, wrap my head around. So um, it's like it's beyond normal right. humanity. The comprehension to me. is kind of unfathomable. Right. Like yeah. when I'm talking about Mickey, I'm talking about Mickey like the character that is the this idea of public persona that is having his shit eaten while banging out three other girls. Like I don't know how that life works. Yeah. That is definitely unique. <laughs> I would say that that is specimen territory. Right. And if like you're having your feces eaten. Yeah, yeah. Sure. It seems, it seems, I, I, whatever. <laughs> like I, I didn't, I truly didn't mean it negatively. I'm not gonna yuck his yum. But <laughs> okay. I, I did God. not. I did not know we were talking about stuff like this today. Wow. Well, Melissa's back. Of course, we're talking about. You stuff didn't like see this. that part. No, I didn't see the. Well, I, meant, the I meant the memo of that us really talking. My eye. Yeah, this is the. Good, good the, the funny part is I watched like a little bit uh, beyond that part and didn't catch that part, but immediately you you were like, no, Corey sent that. In, I, he sent that mm. clip. And I was like, he, he's kind of your spirit animal. Yeah, he yeah. gets it. Yeah, yeah, he gets he's, me. He's all over it. He gets it. Uh, but yeah, that's that's probably enough time talking about that. I don't care. Uh, I thought it was funny that Nick spent like three or four minutes and ranting. Hey, you know what, Mickey? If you want to to put your money where your mouth is, or your hands where your mouth is, or your mouth where I'm going to be planning are. a fight event. Mm, yeah. okay. You're mm. welcome to come on the card. Call out. This bald guy is old. He did say guy. I was a 50 year old who just found yes, steroids. This 50 mm -hmm. year old who just found steroids, don't worry. We'll make him lay off the steroids for you. <laughs> and if you want to fight him, let me know. A, he's older than me. B, he is? He is. Almost certainly. Are you insulted that we both went, he is? <laughs> yeah. I he thought it. Young. I didn't say it. Does he? I don't think he looks like you. He does? No. I don't know. He mm. Maybe it's just, just quickly, his, for his, this, uh, this fight dressing, that you're doing, his... do people have to get tested for roids and stuff? Um, 
Yeah, they should, right? Yeah. I would think. Yeah. He's born in 91. I'm not trying to have any. Oh, wow. He is younger than me. I'm not trying to have By any specimens and creatures mm -hmm. show up. And yeah, yeah. I think sure. the opposite. Older I think shoulders. you should exactly. Should we encourage PEDs? I think we're getting to that point. I would be fine with whatever it is. We just has to be consistent. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, you should do it like uh, bodybuilding. Like have the natty and the not natty okay. division. Uh, it's a pretty big I'll, I'll disparity here, guys. One. Five foot seven, 130 pounds. <laughs> Matt, you're going to have to cut a little bit away. Fuck. <laughs> 130? Yeah. But 130. You're you can become the machinist. No, it's how about I just, to be the machinist. Yeah. How about I just don't train? I don't know how to fight. He's 10 years younger than Berkey, so he it evens out. All right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Right. Berkey has the height and the weight advantage, and Why he has the youth. Why did you think he was let's, older than let's you? Let's go. Because he's Cause been he's, doing a lot of drugs, and he looks like that. You think death. he looks old? He looks like Salamander. He looks like yeah, he looks okay, like the now embodiment. Now he's really of gonna be offended. Oh, good. Well, at this <laughs> point, like I don't give a fuck. Obviously. Now you're calling him salamander. <laughs> at this point, fuck it, we ball. I mean. Yeah, fuck it. I mean, like you know, this guy told me I could suck his dick. Like, present it to me, yeah, sir. Well, you can. Yeah, you can. <laughs> present it. <laughs> The whole, the funniest part of the entire thing was Nick spending three minutes ranting about me having this quote up in the fucking background. I know, yeah. <laughs> then he said he was going to put a quote up. I couldn't he, believe you know, it. I walked downstairs and it. that was printed out in the kitchen. Uh, <laughs> I, was, I didn't know what He to didn't think. want to print a quote out by me because he can't understand most of the words. Right. Well, it would also <laughs> no, be so most long people, that, right. like, there's a quote down there. <laughs> fucking it's Chris. It's so God damn it. long. It's literally like a that's whole a, novel. I thought you it was a troll. I didn't even think I wrote it, but it was a tweet. Yeah, it's a tweet. Tweet? It, was a, yeah. it was a tweet thread. It was yeah, a tweet oh, thread. It was of a course, thread. it's a thread. Yeah. It was a it was a twenty point thread. No, Twitter actually made an exception <laughs> to let Matt Berkey use as many characters as he wanted for one tweet. Twitter blue, baby, and that's what he came up with. Right. Twitter blue. <laughs> but he actually spelled something wrong, which I caught, and I was like, Ooh, mm. "No shock there." It felt good. How, how do you feel about like admitting that on a podcast that you scanned through all of his tweets to see if he made a spelling mistake? No, I scanned through the thing on the bottom. It's in the house. It's right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a framed but quote. It's a framed but it, quote. It's about like three thousand characters <laughs> or three thousand words, probably. It's yeah, about merging about right. the theoretical and exploitative. It's a realm. short novel. Yeah. yeah. It is. It's a short story on how to approach theoretical study. So maybe we can send him a copy study. of that, and it could cover like the whole side of the I'm his here wall. for it. Honestly, <laughs> like he, he doesn't have enough signs in the background. So I think like putting another yeah, one up would right. be a pretty good call. They're not redundant at all. <laughs> Man, the gloves are off. I, I guess if the ship's going down, we're going down with it. Wait, that was so subtle, but so fucking good. <laughs> Because it's literally, it's literally, the same sign. it's literally the same logo, and then the logo for the production house that's producing the podcast, which are, the logos are anchoring on the side. Mm -hmm. So it's like on one wall we have three logos: one being the production house, and the other two being a redundant version right. of so the we'll, show we'll that just you're send watching. Send a copy of your quote. The the real, things up a bit. The real beauty was whenever you had a watermark in the bottom corner as well. Oh, the, was it? The Nick Vertucci logo. I don't know. I don't watch that show. No, 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 I'm saying like it was the two logos on the background, and then he had the same watermark okay. in the corner yeah, of the screen. Yeah, why not add another one? Right, just know, in case somebody did A shirt, hat, <laughs> coffee mug. Fuck's sake. <laughs> this is funny to me. I don't get it. Oh, man. Is okay. he breaking any rules by doing that? No. Like copyright? Why not... Because it's like the Joe Rogan logo? Or... <laughs> no, no, no. Uh... I don't think he broke any rules, which is probably why it's not, not successful. successful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess I'm uh, never getting invited on that show for commentary anymore. No. Um, don't worry, geez. I don't think they pay. They don't pay well. well. It's oh, okay. Right. Fair, 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 fair. They can't well. afford you. That's, that's true. <laughs> it's actually fair. Uh, this is why I'm like not on a podcast because like <laughs> I can't help actually. myself. I just like would go. It's why it's everyone not even, misses like, you so much. I don't even so feel much. that passionately about this. I just think it's so funny to rant about stuff that it's like yeah. I end up like ranting myself into a hole because I think I'm just I'm just being funny. That's what the people want though. But the, the yeah, problem they want my demise, <laughs> my, my self induced demise. Well, the thing is, when it's not you, like when you're gone, it's just always me. Because, like, oh, okay. I'm very that's much... why you want me on here. Yeah, <laughs> I need somebody to take some of the fucking yeah. heat. Uh -huh. No, but you, you guys do an incredible job of like walking the line very carefully. You know, <laughs> I like, don't think I do. I, I've said this to you before, like, you just, you know, like, you just yeah, put your leg I, I, over, I you dip, test I dip the my toe over. Bit. Sometimes I, I smash right through it. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing is that there's only so much toe dipping that takes place until like the bit runs its course. And then we're just like neck deep in the ocean. Yeah. Well, you know, everyone here can swim, so yeah. that's that's true. You gotta Everyone's live fast, die young. Uh, let's talk about the the real reason we're having you two on. Are you, you two, Wait, what? well, because we're getting married. Yeah, yeah, you didn't know the papers. <laughs> yeah, Congratulations. 
Yeah. Why do you have to say for papers? I, like, it's, it's, it's very she reductive. She wants the British Melissa. passport. It's like, it's so, I want an American you know, green card. Like, don't, you know, just pretend like you want to marry me. <laughs> Wait, like, <they're, laughs> all right, sorry. It's not <laughs> listening. I mean, come on, man. We're going through Jesus. couples therapy right now. It's not it's going crazy. great. Yeah, it's <laughs> on the show. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Oh, man. Fantastic. Uh, but you two <laughs> actually do work together quite frequently. You're out here for a commentary gig. No, I wasn't meant to be out here for but, a commentary. But you game. are now. I am now. They heard no, that I was in town. No, he's out here to marry <laughs> right. me. Right. My apologies. Going to, I mean, uh, you guys just like, you're just totally ignoring the whole <laughs> thing. The Cinderella right. story, if you will. Yeah, I mean, I'm living my fairy tale and you guys are just like shitting on it. Like, mm. But you're just telling me that I'm making I it didn't, up. I didn't receive you know. a save the date, so I don't know. I, th I, I think, think well, they're, I sent them they're out eloping, last week. <laughs> it's going to be like a spontaneous 30 minute oh, okay. yeah. Elvis Those are Presley the best way to do wedding it. chapel kind mm -hmm. of thing. Shotgun yeah. wedding. Yeah, we Melissa, are you taking his name? Uh, kill kill the game. I think I'll be yeah. Melissa, kill the game, Bane. You you can finally rebrand yourself. Exactly. <laughs> this is the rebranding. Or maybe I'll just for. change my first name to Poo Dog. <laughs> Poo Dog killed the game, Bane. <laughs> Seems good to me. How do you feel about saying that? Here's my wife. Kill Poo Dog. Kill the game. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. This uh, has really gone downhill fast. <laughs> Alan's making a great point in chat saying, "What's a British passport worth at this point?" A blue check on Twitter. I mean, for poker players. Yeah, yeah, a lot. Well, yeah, I'm trying to live there six taxes. months out of the year. Yeah. Not paying. I mean, taxes. I've already planned it out. Like he's has no choice but to agree. Mm -hmm. You're holding him hostage. I'm very threatening. Right. Yeah. Well, you've been lifting. We see you out That's there. That's right. Did you see my leg muscles? Fucking gains. They're fucking like full. All Wait aboard a minute. the game I was train. watching that. Like I watched my story like 60 times. <laughs> the shaking was so extreme. I wasn't doing it on purpose, but I really was shaking. Yeah. We did in RDLs. Dumbbell, but it was at oh, okay. the end after I was doing hip thrusts. So mm -hmm. I was like, you know, you're not she, shaking. You're not gaining. Right. She, she put a real visual in everybody's head. Henry, the type of guy to put hot soup in the fridge to cool it off. Okay, chat. Yes. All right, I guess, I guess so, we're okay. going to do this. <laughs> okay, chat. <laughs> so when Henry was commentating, um, the chat started going off with these bits. I'm very sad Landon was in the booth with him instead of you because now we have to do this bit here instead of you just roasting him on air I live. I know, how funny would that have been? Well, they did some for Landon too, but the ones for, her, for Henry were really... They were really class, as, as you say. So um, I'll read some for you. <laughs> Disrespectful. Have it worked. Kill man. the game Bane is the type of guy who claps when the plane lands. <laughs> True. Are you? Bro, True. I I was reading these in real time. She was screenshotting and sending them to the chat. And I was driving. I was I was laughing maniacally. I was laughing so loud. I was in stitches. I, I, had tears, I had tears coming down my cheeks as they were like rolling in one after another. I've never had to like close down YouTube or Twitch chat before because <laughs> like I'm trying to commentate and everyone's just making me laugh. That's it's incredible. It's insane. Henry, the type of dude to say, uh-oh, SpaghettiO when he drops something. <laughs> <laughs> there's so many good ones uh, Henry the type of guy who moved his parents out of the house when he turned 18 it's true oh, man. Henry yeah. the type of guy to scream during superhero movies <laughs> <laughs> Henry the type of guy to say no more Mr. Nice Guy when he's angry <laughs> that's like on uh, the thing that white people say yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that is probably one of my favorites that, that one's one. good yeah. This is, uh, this is one of my favorites. Kill the game, Bane. Classic. <laughs> the type to say, uh-oh, we've got company. When the bad guys <laughs> that one's so good. <laughs> we like that one. We like. Uh, we also like the hip thrust <laughs> one. Oh, my Henry, God. The, the closing the fridge. Henry, the type of MF to exclaim, you, sir, have won the internet for today <laughs> after seeing a subpar meme in YouTube chat. Yeah, yeah. It was, they, they did. They won the internet for that day. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then we'll... We'll end it with this Berkey's favorite. Henry's the type to close the fridge with his hip and say boop. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried to recreate this myself multiple times and He's done it, it. it's not happening. I've seen it. It's not great. Yeah. Boop. <sighs> oh man, that Pretty was mid. that was so good. You literally came out of retirement to do that bit. Yeah. Yeah, that was yep. it's, it's a one and done, guys. I and hope you don't get too used to this. And, uh, it's been a blessing and an I'll honor see to you have guys you. At the fight. <laughs> 
You should re you really need to go. No, I that. I'm gonna so like literally I will like start looking for sponsors and try and find a place and stuff. I feel like why not? I mean, the what place else do I have to do. The, yeah, the place is probably the easiest part because we're in Vegas. There's a lot of uh, both boxing and MMA right, uh, training facilities. Sick. Yeah, that might be the tough part. Set it up sick. It has to be bussing for right, real. Like, bussing for real. What, what we gotta have bussing guys like skating around roller skates with <laughs> hors d'oeuvres. What is this, Sonic? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Sonic, Sonic boxing with Melissa. Or something. What, would your, what would your what would your ideal um, uh, capacity be? Um, I don't know. Maybe like five hundred. Yeah, I was thinking around. 500. How many do you think were for the chess boxing? A lot. They sold I, out a whole stadium. Yeah, I thought it was like ten thousand. Yeah, it was a lot, but we don't have that much. I could be like way, way over though. It might have been Maybe like two thousand. Maybe five years. Ten thousand seems 000. like a lot. I don't know, man. They had a full fucking camera production. Like it was a televised. Yeah, it was basically because, a televised because event. they're huge YouTubers and we're lowly low lives. Yeah, <laughs> lowly, lowly. we need the Queen's Gambit for chat, for poker rather. And it's I gonna know. start with Schubert Sonic boxing. It's gonna right. be start with you know go go boxing, Friday night go go boxing. Oh, this reviews. is gonna be a weekly thing. Well, no, that's a little much. I don't think I have a. <laughs> I hear HBO is listening. HBO was sponsored. Showtime. Sponsored by Manscaped. HBO. <laughs> Manscaped Sonic. just works their fucking way into anything. Yeah, Manscaped is always in there. Mm -hmm. um, they really are. We had been streaming for like a week, and they had like sent us a full email to like the Obex crew. Yeah, to try, yeah try they're and, in yeah, there. They, they Fuck, it. man, what are we doing wrong? We, we're the only ones who haven't been hit up. Yeah. We stink, is what's going on. <laughs> I mean, it's like I see these people; they're getting money thrown at them, sponsorships yeah. all over the place. I mean, you know, we already have like the lawnmower ad prepped and ready to go. You know the. <laughs> fucking, yeah. Fucking get it started. You know? I mean, we could even do like one of you guys will. Well, I'm sure volunteer to do a tutorial. I, I mean, at this point, we know right? Landon just has to be rocking like a major bush. No, right? he's he's been. No, this is going <laughs> to actually offend. What the fuck just happened? It's so bad. It's going to trigger him. It's just like because it's just disrespectful. He hates hair. <laughs> Well, it's just talking disrespectful. About your well, it's because you have red no. hair. Like you barely I, can see it. It's because you have red hair. Yeah, That's barely, why he has a bush. Yeah, because you can barely see it. It just blends in with the skin. No, I, red I, hair. Red bushes hair. are like red. Fire crotch. <laughs> You see, he can vouch. <laughs> see, he can he can at least own up to it. Just raise his hand. He's not trying to deny that the curtains. Bro, everyone's got carpet. pubes, yeah. Like, what are you getting yeah. triggered for? I'm, not getting, <laughs> I'm, triggered. <laughs> I'm just saying, I do. I am not a fan of hair. Okay, this is known. Oh, yeah, man. Landon is is it's like well strictly against it. Actually, when I started getting laser hair removal, he was he was it piqued his interest a little bit. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm just curious. You get zapped? No. Just curious. What would uh, what would you get done? Head to toe? Just Nothing. I was just curious on how it worked. I would get my, I would get my asshole laser. You I should. Uh, yeah. It's really like. All right, bro. Bet. Let's go for a Brazilian wax. See if oh my gosh. Have you, you has hey, anyone hey, hey, here hey. done a Brazil? It's Brazil? a Brazilian. Have you guys yeah, yeah, yeah. ever done one though? No. It's so painful. Like the whole eye watering painful. The whole idea of like showing up to a place of business. <laughs> where the person's a complete stranger and not performing a medical procedure. Yeah. And you are just in full stirrups 100%. with your taint. No stirrups. No, no stirrups. You just have just to hold it. Just, just, a, get in... just a shitty like Amazon massage table right. and like uh, some paper. Right. So you got to get, I used to you go gotta to get yourself place, into happy like, baby. In Manhattan, I would go and get my $25 Brazilian. <laughs> Just really cheap for a Brazilian. Of course. And you're getting what you pay for because you go and there's no door. It's all one room and there's just a curtain. And then you just go behind the curtain and she's like, oh, your hair is so thick. I'm like, I know, bitch. That's why I'm getting this. I'm sweating. My, I'm covered in sweat. Like the whole paper's ripping because I'm so sweaty because it's there's no AC and and I and it's and it's like so painful. It's a fucking bodega in the middle of so, yeah, New York City. Yeah, it's literally like in a bodega, in out. the back of a bodega, and I'm sweating. And she's just like, "Oh, you're so thick." And then I'm like, "Yeah, it freaking hurts." Where is this podcast gone to? Man? Like seriously. Yep. Welcome back, oh, Melissa. We reach new heights. <laughs> Welcome Jeez. back. This is what everybody so, misses, yeah, man. Now I get laser. <laughs> so moral of the story is. Well, the moral of the story: you should have been getting laser a long time ago. Right, so right, right. Yeah, I. Uh, Man, I don't know how girls do it. I don't know how you keep yourself so well maintained it's to impress crazy. us idiots. Like it's we're so, so wild. Uh, and then conversely, I don't know how you tolerate us. I know we're disgusting. Oh my god, it's it's like it's like <laughs> it's you're you. it's like you're running good if you find a guy who washes his ass crack. That's insane. That is so insane to me. 
like I, I I'm not gonna claim to be the beacon of hygiene, but I think I do a pretty good job. And it's I like I could see you being a, a scrubber down there. I I'm a scrubber. I shower at least once a day. I'm a trimmer. Like you know, I'll get the clippers. That that lawnmower, man. It's been places. I'm just saying, it's been places been... everywhere. Mm -hmm. If I have hair, you know it's what been is there. actually like funny is about like growing a bigger butt is mm. like it, it's harder to like. <laughs> You have to like open yeah. it up. Yeah, yeah, like you're pulling the one yeah, cheek to the side. Yeah, you gotta pull your cheek out. Unless I've been there, it's brutal. Yeah. and I gotta tell you, like those when clippers. Those, when those glutes grow, it's hard to get yeah. in there. The, those clippers are not meant to shave an asshole. They're just not. No, you know? no, no. It, it's really not. The... You need to use a face <laughs> razor. Landon's had enough, man. <laughs> Landon's had enough. Lamana checked out an hour I'm ago. I'm done. Let me know when we're talking about poker. <laughs> Even Rudy's Someone peacing out. Like, yeah, Rudy's, Rudy's off. leaving. He's, He's like, like, my mom's guys. lost Lamana's it. Lamana's like, this is the only reason I got a girlfriend. I haven't touched any of that shit in years. <laughs> what? What? I don't know. I think when girls are in relationships, they sometimes get hairy. I'm not an animal, man. I'll never understand that for the life of me. Uh... I, I've dated a couple girls where they were like shocked that I was getting in better shape as we were dating. And I'm like, I, I don't understand. What do you mean? They're like, well, you know, you have a relationship now. Who are you trying to impress? It's like, because you guys are always like, you. Oh, we like you just the way you are. I'm like, okay, well, and then you know, oh, suddenly that's a I, lie, I have a that is, that is a lie. That's okay, a but lie. don't lie because I'm gonna take that to heart and I'm gonna grow all my hair out. I'm gonna be stanking. Oh, um, that's. No, right. that's repulsive. Okay, well then don't tell me that you like the way I am naturally. <laughs> I, I'm very upfront. When, if, if I that's truly care about a girl and like we start seeing each other, I was like, listen, like I can tolerate a lot of things and I certainly don't have uh, like an unattainable bar for most, but please, please, I beg of you to keep the sanctity of this relationship. Mm. Just do your best not to fart or shit in front of me. Oh my that's god. That's all I want. I Just think like, that that put, is unrealistic. Do you think that's unreasonable, Henry? I think it's unrealistic. Yeah. I'm not saying that she can literally... Like, Brian, you've been in a long-term relationship. Do you think that's a realistic expectation? Of course not. It's so stupid. Yeah. I it's don't like, fart in front of them. Like, your whole life. You're well, going to you go your fart entire in front of life us all the without time, farting so... in front of your wife. That well, just, yeah, I'm not so... trying to sleep with any of you. No, I'm... Yes, I... yes. I think I can go my entire life without farting in front of my wife. That is ridiculous. No. Why would you want to do that to yourself? It's just, just going to hold it in or it's, have to, you're like, have leave a tummy the room ache, like all time? the time. It's just polite. And you no, eat a lot of protein. So like you're going to have fine. a tummy ache. No, that's meant for like the first like couple months that you're dating. And then that's it. Oh, uh, like, you no. no, no I, 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 yeah. I want to put the relationship on a pedestal. And also it's like, you know? I feel like when you can tell a guy is skeeved out by that stuff, you can like feel it. And then you like low key are it, a little bit self-conscious. No, no, no. It's not that I'm skeeved out. Like No, no, no. I'm not skeeved out at all. What it, what it does. What it does to me is it makes me feel like the relationship is uh, just like any other. And so, like, I lose focus of its importance, well, you, I what, think. What, you get naked and rub mugglies without any relationship? No, but uh, <laughs> sex is different for guys. It's not necessarily always intimate. Like, we can have non-intimate sex and intimate sex. So it's like, uh, if you want to keep my brain programmed towards the intimacy, you know, maybe, maybe we don't I shit think, in front of each other. I think other. grow up. Oh, that's because you open door dump for your fucking boyfriends. No, see that that I, I understand that. We're like, there's a door. You can close the door, <laughs> <laughs> right? I don't like just leave the door open. So there is a line. A there is a line. I don't. It's not that there's a. Li it's just like I don't prefer to shit in front of my partner, but I don't want that to feel like they are are grossed out by one of my natural bodily functions. What if I have? Yeah. What if I have like a bad sickness no, no, no. I'm like, running that, out of totally there fine, totally fine I'm, and then I'm you're not, like no gross. no that's what thing that's what i'm trying to say i'm not grossed out by it okay it's a boundary that i just don't want to cross mm. and like of course there are exceptions to that and i'm fine with it it's like <laughs> my half brother's so you're mind. you're laying you just wake up you're laying in bed and you have to fart and you're there with your girlfriend mm -hmm. you're you know like get up you you're and saying you room, don't trap her under then, the covers and never. fart <laughs> you're like get no. up like no, you know what? I think I was partially traumatized life, by like I, I think I was partially traumatized by my fucking trailer trash stepdad who used to do this as a joke oh. to my mom and like like the the Dutch oven. It was always like so Al Bundy to me. Yes. And like there was nothing about like as somebody who grew up Did in Did me and him date? <laughs> You, I feel like you like the Al Bundy type. <laughs> no, actually, don't. like I, I actually see what you're saying, and I think that there probably is some merit to that. Like, you know, keeping it because if you're going to be gross around all your friends, maybe having one person where who you're not gross around would be yeah. like not the worst idea. I, I, I mean, like thinking back to like high school, and obviously that's a much more sensitive time. But I knew those people since kindergarten, 
And with the exception of one accident where I may or may not have blamed the shyest girl in school, <laughs> oh, uh, I don't know that a single one of those girls so that I graduated the shy girl with. That gets oh, blamed. It's poor so, thing. It happened in my school too. Renee, my apologies. Uh, <laughs> I still feel guilty to this day, but <laughs> we were in honors English, you and send her some I was flowers. in the. It was literally just me and girls. That was it. I was the only one, only guy in honors English, and I was in the far back, and we had like a study hall period, and I fart. And it was audible. I thought I was like going to sneak a silent one out, yeah. but it was, it rippled off the chair and everybody turns around and Renee was like adjacent to me. And I just knew she like couldn't defend herself. I'm like, Renee, <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. It was awful. You, it was you absolutely bust. awful. But my whole point is like in, in, you know, 12 years of going to school with those girls, I can promise that was the only time any of them ever heard me fart. Like you gotta keep up in appearance, you know. You wanna, sure, you wanna yeah. impress I mean, in them. In school, I think it's normal to that's, not be yeah, farting. Yeah, it's a little different. Right? Well, but when you're at home years. and you're on the couch or something, and no, but but we've talked about this before. Yeah. My half brother's the same way. He he's like, don't fart, don't. He's like, Mel, you gotta stop talking about that stuff. Like you're never gonna get married. <laughs> like you might be right. <laughs> I mean, I obviously like shit humor too. So it's like it, it's. I'm not saying this as a this is a non-negotiable steadfast rule. It's just more so like uh, I think about like boundaries that don't exist with friends. Yeah. That turn it into platonic relationships. Right. I think that yeah. I feel like I can see what you're saying. And you like kind of don't want that to be the case with somebody that you're you know having intimate relations sure. with. But I digress. Uh, Thank God. Coming the long way around, <laughs> you guys Fuck have been doing God. a lot of commentary Feel this that. week. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Quick segue. Uh, oh yeah. Well, I, 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 I fear, uh, I fear so doing this. Of pooping. I fear doing this, but let's start with Melissa. Yeah. <laughs> you got to commentate the vlogger game they and did. the ladies game. I did. Uh, first, first simple question is, uh, tell me the difference in those two experiences. I guess. Um, the ladies game was definitely more like strategy. Like it was definitely some higher level. It was a pretty tough lineup. Yeah. And I think that's actually very cool. Like I know it's sort of not the most like appealing lineup to play in, mm. but I feel like it is actually cool to get some ladies who are like have some good skills and have them battle each other. And it's like, I don't know. It was pretty cool. Like I actually really enjoyed commentating that. And like I got to commentate with, two female co-commentators like for the first time i i've hadn't done like a female female duo and that was super fun it was caitlin and jamie mm. and i feel like we were able to like riff off you. i mean i like them both I'm both, both with them of their both, sense so. of humor is right in line with right yours. so great. it was it was fun um yeah i mean i really liked it the vlogger was definitely like a more um it was just like a more of a fun well you came game. in during the kitty hour Yes. So you came into the booth post dinner, right? Uh, post some drinks, right? Well, I was for the vlogger game. I came in a little bit before dinner, mm -hmm. but yeah, I the post dinner was definitely a difference. You and Caitlin couldn't really get in much of a word edgewise because no. Kitty was absolutely running the show, correct? And part of this uh, shtick was her attempting to. Seduce. Uh, yeah. Seduce uh -huh. seduce is a word. I was gonna go with adopt, but maybe that's the wrong okay, word. Okay, well that's yeah, maybe not that because well, she she seemed to have like romantic intentions. Yes, romantic intentions for sure, but it, it did seem as though she was trying to solidify a uh sugar baby, if you will. Yeah. Uh in young Frankie from yeah. from Next Gen. Uh, I think we have a clip of them playing it all in pot and Kitty uh being very clear with her intentions. Is um, is when you're around her, she like raises your energy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Johnny's pretty good at the compliment game. I think he's destroying the competition. Oh, this is gonna a cost Naughty turn. Naughty turn. I'm sure the bug is thinking that. Oh my god. You are. Oh, wait, say the English word, I understand. Oh, one thing I understand, okay. Going for a chunky bet here. 25. 825. Is it really hard? You're very, you're lively. I don't understand the word. So, so, so you're like, 
No, no, you need to change your word. Okay, I'll change my word. Okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Could see a case uh, for an overbet on that turn. Obviously, we could see that he's up against a set, but... No, I want to try the English word. Uh, yeah, that, that was actually Obviously, Conrad Chris getting in some other absolutely does. buried. Uh, in this game. We just wanted to show that again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He may have been meaning to send yep. the one where they're mm -hmm. all in and she says, if I win, date with me. If I lose, date with me. Yeah. And then he goes, oh, I don't know. And then they end up chopping. Right. And he's like, I'm okay with this one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that that was, we lost the comedic moment because uh, Kitty being Kitty was, was pretty great in real time. Um, but yeah, at the, the, uh, the funny thing to me and maybe you can speak about it from being in the commentary side of things is i think this whole scenario is hilarious mm -hmm. but if you just do the thought experiment of frankie being a 21 year old girl i know I, and i was the whole time trust me i was it's so no, fucking I was because weird. i know i know that like i know that that is something that is gonna like be thought about yeah, yeah, you know yeah, like how yeah. can it not well like double standards exist and like we just acknowledge 100%. them and move on. i mean the, the double standard exists because of the risk of bodily harm Correct. naturally by yeah, you know yeah. but but i i did mention in the booth i said you know I, i'm he's being a good sport i'm glad he's not uncomfortable with this because because like there could be scenarios where that is uncomfortable for somebody yeah you know they're coming into a new environment like a veteran of the game is like <laughs> fucking but i think they're friends like i think that he's cool with it i actually did this to mike on day one of uh you the wpt flirted with him yeah yeah, yeah, pretty, pretty like hardcore. Uh, and he, he, <laughs> obviously we were fucking around, but he goes to the dealer, he goes, floor, uh, I need you to get a floor. And the dealer like didn't realize we knew each other, like that he wasn't in on the bit and he kind of like chuckles a little bit like awkwardly. And then he goes, are you serious? Like really quietly to Mike. <laughs> <laughs> and Mike not being able to read the room. What did you say that made him call uh, the floor, it, it was It was like very... Did you compliment his penis or something? Yeah, something like... Uh, he was wearing very short shorts and he was sitting two to my left. So we were like in the four and the six. And uh, I think it started with... He was all in like level two. For like two times the pot on the river. And D tank folded a pair. And I go, good full deep. I could see his dick move in his shorts, so he definitely had it. <laughs> <laughs> and he kind of like, he kind of like. I've joked. seen some aggressive male on male sexual harassment at the table. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. There was one guy. He was like a gem. Like he was very funny, but he was really drunk. And you know, he's dancing. I actually took a video. It was on my story a while ago. He's like dancing in the wind, and and but but he sat down and like. Just like there's this other reg sitting next to him and he just like grabs his thigh. Oh, yeah, and he's yeah, like, you told me about this. You're super handsome. <laughs> and then he's like, yeah, I don't know about like the thigh grab, man. But then they ended up like, you know, like sharing a bottle of wine. And yeah. but he was just like, that yeah, feels that's a big thigh. That feels more yeah. aggressive because I don't feel like there's a whole lot of joking going there on wasn't. there. Not, and, and he, not. they did not know each other. Right, right. But where, he was also like, you know, he's giving away a lot of money so the guy's like yeah so i'm like oh, okay yeah, it happens yeah. to guys too <laughs> yeah, well, just tolerate shit right um but yeah then like another hand happened later and i was like let me get a read let me take a look like his shorts were so goddamn short i couldn't help but like make fun of him i was trying to do it in a way that like was uh less well, disarming that's like than... the thing for young guys now though. yeah my nephew does five it too. inch inseams oh that's okay. after triton right There's is it Dutch guys there yeah all... the 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 rocking Europeans. up wearing like I mean, Gucci and Prada short shorts. Yeah, but they're skinny stuff. euros. Like that seems reasonable. My right. nephew has like twenty seven inch thighs, and he buys like five yeah, inch and his inseams. Friends behind him like smacking his ass. I'm like, what's going on here? <laughs> yeah, like they literally look like the fucking shorts that you wear in, in the gym when you're posting updates. Uh -huh. I'm like, bro, I can they have see your butthole. Butt. Yeah, it's like, what are we doing here? They're like, this is the look, man. Get a pair. Landon's Grow in that up. generation. You, you, Landon, do you like those shorts? That's why he's wearing a blanket. That's, yeah, exactly. Well, because his tip does. was showing every episode is obscene. Now you understand. I yeah. have on this, this is what we were going but through. But he doesn't wear those kinds of shorts. He wears, like, just loose fitting. They're just he, loose. You, like you know, gym shorts. He wears my shorts. Mm, there you go. Every short except for the uh, one that looks like it was born out of outer space. Uh, I believe he's stolen from me. It's okay, Landon. You it's can one, have them. One pair. Is it one pair? <laughs> oh, one man, here we go. We got the leg <laughs> shake out here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Like, I mean, I was like, wow, my quads are growing. What is different? I got to tell you, th this feels a little bit contrived to me. What do you mean? I, not, <laughs> not, not the shake. I believe the shake was genuine. Yeah. But I also believe that you went into that gym session 
<laughs> planning on posting. I a always video. plan on posting a video. Okay. Cuz you so looked a little unique. bit you you looked extra uh sporty in that I one. usually look like that because one it gives me more motivation if okay. I look sexy. Mm -hmm. And two sexy classy women. Yeah, and two I always do. I mean, well, I'm always videoing for form purposes to send sure. to my brother so he can then tear me apart. Right. But yeah, I mean, why wouldn't Sometimes I? Sometimes you gotta give it to people what See, they the want. See, male, the male-female brain's pretty much the same. I dress in all rock is, gear yeah. because in my head, that's what I look like when I'm lifting. <laughs> Dwayne The Rock Johnson on Endless, Endless you, Testosterone. You believe you look like Dwayne The Rock yes, Johnson? Yes, in my head. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and I try to like, you know, turn ever so slightly into sure. the mirror so it catches. Yeah. I'm like, God, look at those lines. Man. I mean, just what, like the rock. Like what else? If we, we like to look sexy. That's part of the reason mm -hmm. why we go to the gym. And we like to look scary. That's yeah. why we go to the gym. Well, I'm, you know. You're I, kind I, of screwing this for me, actually, because the whole reason to lift weights is to never fight. And now you're just organizing fights. Well, you're well, fighting someone that's hey, look, 130 it's me. pounds. <laughs> you oh, is that you? Oh my God, is that you? <laughs> Same shirt. Wow. In his mind, that's what he thinks. And so yeah. olive, same too. olive, yeah. so same, olive. same skin tone and everything. So, so very olive. Why don't you get some tats like that, bro? No, no. Although my AI was big, big proponent of the tats. Had a chest tat. Yeah, I saw had that. A neck See, someone's tat. complimenting my hammy separate. I mean, it's like amazing. When you can get I the hammy, that. when you get the hammy separation, like you're lean. Oh yeah. Hon honestly, I don't think I'm very lean right now, though. Mm. Bulking season. It no, bulking I mean, I season. just i I don't have a bulking or cutting. I Henry, just, you want to get into the eat. steak a day uh, diet with me? Yeah. I Henry's, did it once. Henry's going to look the same and you're going to look like a, a balloon. <laughs> He's like not Henry's wrong. metabolism is ridiculous. He's not wrong. My metabolism is very slow. I did this once. I ate a ribeye a day for like 45 days. I put on like 45 pounds. Hey. Wasn't, yeah, you wasn't should. We'll show you the picture later. It's, it's really disturbing. crazy. I look very pregnant. Damn, Man, I was talking to Mike about that um, when it comes to like improvements in the gym, seeing new veins kind of pop up like, oh, mm. shit, like I got more veins in my forearm and stuff. If a girl ever noticed like, wow, you have a new bicep vein, I would marry them on the spot. <laughs> it's, it's hilarious you say that because Espen was coming down from the gym at the at King's Resort and we were playing uh, what's the ultimate hold'em. And he's coming through and like we're complimenting him. He's like, oh, look, you, you look pumped, bro. Well done, man. Like you had a good gym workout. And we realized that guys go to the gym for other guys. A hundred percent. We get, yeah. I get a thousand X more compliments on my physique from men than I do women. Yeah. Because women keep it Not to themselves until they know you. No, because women like, you know, they don't care. We like a little cushion. I'm so tired of that. <laughs> like, no, you fucking don't. I Maybe don't... once you got them. Like nobody seeks out the guy who you has a little me. bit of show. Yeah, I get it. But That's like, so sick. I've had girlfriends tell me this too, where it's like. No, I mean, I think that like, I think that the thing is like, sure, aesthetically, a really cut person looks dope, but I know that their lifestyle is gonna be like horrendous to live with. Yeah. So like, I don't want that. Mm. He just wants to do edibles and watch Netflix. Right. Uh huh. And I want like, um, you know, I just want him to be like strong enough, but like. A protector, but you know. Yeah, it's more about the not, vibe. Not like it has for to everybody just else. be like BDE. I mean, it's. <laughs> <laughs> I had one of one of my my very first girlfriend. Uh, I was like pretty in shape when we met, and uh, it was my first real relationship. So I did kind of like let myself go a little bit. And I remember like halfway through, uh, she was like, "I like you so much with a little bit of chub," and she grabbed my belly fat. And no, I was like, I "Never!" Agree. I was in the fucking oh, gym. Really? Like Next an day. hour later, I had I was... a guy do that to me, and I. I was like in my early twenties, but I think that like some guys just kind of like like to grab onto stuff. I don't. Well, I, I like to have it now. Now I'm I grab it. Like I have a little thing now. <laughs> you mean love handles? <laughs> no, no. My I have a little pouch belly thing. Mm. I like to grab it. And do what with it? Just shake it around. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that big. Like it's not that big. But I under I don't feel self conscious uh, about any sort of like extra weight I'm putting on because I know there's like muscle beneath yeah, it, yeah, and I feel yeah. I feel you can, like, cut physically fit. You want. But like I I don't know. I think it's fun. Like and I I don't know. I I'm I've grew up being so thin, like rail thin, and being made yeah. fun of for being like oh she's so skinny. But like I was just scrawny, and so it's I kind of <laughs> like having a little extra. Seems like a very healthy mindset like it. Landon, how do you feel about it? Do you shake your little belly around? I don't think grab, so. Grab it a little Something bit. Something tells me he's make, doesn't a, like... make a little mouth out of the belly button. Oh yes. yeah. And when you scrunch it together like really hard, like it gets so soft in the middle and you can like poke it. I look at my excess skin and I want it gone. Mm. You going to get the surgery? 
He no. doesn't need the surgery. I'm joking. He has, like, Obviously, <laughs> you're give him a he's not like he's on like <laughs> my six hundred pound life. The thing is, have you ever seen that show, My Six Hundred Pound Life? Yeah. Where yeah. it's like, it's crazy because like when the they're actually really successful with it, like they lose like four hundred right. pounds, right? And then or they're something. so and much they're 200, skin. Yeah, and it's just all this excess skin that they literally have to get surgery. That's super yeah. super painful. And there's nothing else you can do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I just know that for myself, and it's so early in the whole fitness arc that I'm so there's so much to improve upon and I can see that in myself so mm -hmm. that's kind of what I'm I'm shooting for so I like having the well your improvement movement. has been very good I Thank think you. I mean I know from when I first met you you're like a completely 180 in I, terms he's a of, that's how much I weigh well, now yeah you're a <laughs> no. bit of, like on the more Patrick Bateman side of things now yeah, I was about to say <laughs> but, American psycho yeah he is yeah. right he's like For big sure. Bateman vibe he's gonna start doing the peel off mask in the morning <laughs> like, sounds great yeah I'm for it. he's got that's, skincare he looks skincare, clean he's in the <laughs> shower scrubbing you know I don't know what the the line is but well, we're in the gym and he just lifts his top up he's like yo Henry check out my six pack I was like, Bro, <laughs> come on <laughs> he came no the funny he came in the other day and he's like I was just dysmorphiaing in the gym and the cleaners came out and they were like, oh, because <laughs> he, he was like looking in the mirror and they came out and they were like, oh, sorry. <laughs> they go, this is me time. <laughs> <laughs> I was having fun. I thought it was funny when they, when she came in, because like, she was like, I go, no, like, I'm, I, I guess I shouldn't be here right now. But it's yeah, like, yeah. no, it's not that big of a deal. I just started oh, you laughing. You want to see my six pack? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can flex real quick if oh, you want. I mean. So you've been doing a lot of the commentary for uh, the major stuff. You got a lot on your plate moving forward. Yes, how, how much do you... Actually, just give me your thoughts so far about the, the whole setup of the WPT compared to other events that you've worked and what your expectation is for the main as it concludes today on day one. Production-wise, like this is, this is one of the first ever events that I've covered where everyone just agrees that this is world-class. Yeah. Like the setup... Just the, the tournament itself, the venue, everything. It's the first time I've ever seen like all of poker Twitter just agree mm -hmm. on something. Yeah, it's hard to do. It really is hard <laughs> to do. Yeah. And also like even the stuff that people have complained about, they're approaching it in like a much softer way. It's more compared constructive. To, yeah. It's it's like, oh hey guys, like this is like feedback. Whereas normally, you know, it's just whoever's bitching about whatever. Right. Um so yeah, the the production crew, like the share hands guys are obviously the best in the world. Uh, Jamie has been running around like a blue ass fly trying to get all of this together. I'm it's sorry, been, oh, what? I, 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 it's just, it's just amazing, man. Like yeah. she's just pulled, pulled it out of the bag for all these high stakes streams and that, and is the that, lineups as well. Is that a British term? Yeah, a blue, blue ass blue ass, ass fly. fly. Yeah, I'm gonna use that. Yeah, there you go. This must be what Christian feels like every time I use an idiom. Yeah. Like I, I'm sorry. I'll what? Squeeze a blood that, out of a turtle. Is that like? Is that like? Do you guys <laughs> use uh, like run around like with like a chicken with his head cut off? Do you ever use that? Term? Yeah, I've heard that. Is, before, is it similar? Yeah, yeah we That's... speak the same language, bro. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> right, but we don't say blue, blue ass fly. Blue ass fly. So like, uh, there's different phrases and different. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you should start industry. saying blue ass fly. I'm in. I, I said I'm going. I'm going to use that. Sure. <laughs> I'm fucking in. Um, You're just wearing blue. Are, are you having FOMO? FOMO about playing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's the mystery bounty. I, I don't know. I, I def. I, I really want to flick that in. When um, is that? Fifteenth. I think it's tomorrow. That's that's the one that you're uh, you're oh, really fomoing. Oh over? yeah, and obviously that like the ten k. But it was just I don't know. For me, it was just a way to really wrap up a strong year in terms of commentary. Yeah, you've um, done a bunch. Yeah, like I just feel like in, uh, I've just put so much like work in over the last like five years, and then this year everything came together like the whole team is doing well from like poker perspective obviously Espen went in the main commentary wise I feel like I've now the the imposter syndrome has disappeared yeah if you spoke to me a year ago it was always like oh I don't know if I'm qualified to commentate on this stuff whereas now I actually feel really confident and mm -hmm. And it, I think that reflects in the commentary as well and like the feedback from the viewers as well. I so. think so. Well, I remember when we were in Barcelona, you were talking about like snowball effect. And I yeah. feel like that is sort of what is what ended up going on the rest of the year. I mean, that was before like the main happened, before like Brighton and this. So, mm. so it did sort of, you know, it was a bit of a snowball. You were, yeah, you were being sure. a little bit, um, what's the word? Uh, you had you had like a premonition. Yeah, yeah, it might sure. Be a when, bit, when, a bit when, psychic. when were we in Barcelona? April. April, and then yeah, you're right. Isn't that weird? Yeah. 
Creepy. I'd just Psychic. been just been to try and yeah. That yeah, is snowboard. Weird. But yeah, WPT, I mean, it's like one of the most highly anticipated spoken about events of the year. And I was just like, okay, I can skip a 10K to do this like, and be the voice of this. I, I respect your dedication to the craft because uh, the fact that we are just about to pass 25 million in the prize pool yeah. uh, feels like something that is an opportunity that like just legitimately cannot be passed on. But I also think that uh, throughout my entire career, I, I view too many one-offs that way, mm. right? Like, uh, I remember FOMOing when the first, uh, million dollar one drop happened, uh, even though like it was way beyond my means, like there right. was just no shot. There was, did you see the post going around that basically like echoed that sentiment? Mm -mm. The, so a woman, Tiffany, Oh, something. Tiffany Michelle yeah, posted you, it. It's sort of like, I how, glossed over yeah, it. Yeah. Sort of like how. Um, it was beyond her means and she really like wanted to fire it and everyone's talking All her about friends are on top such of her. good value and everything, but like you kind of just have to do what's best for you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, 946 runners today. I think they ended yesterday with 1,050. Uh, yeah, 946 already. Correct. We already Jesus. Won, already won the over oh, So crazy. Nice. Yeah. There's still what? That's four crazy. hours, four and a half hours. I mean, they've like, like for their first time putting this on, they have really like blown it out of the water. I think maybe more so than they expected. Like yeah. to have 946 right now. So they're only 90 minutes into play for the day to have 946 basically at the start of play today means that like, uh, there's a high probability they end up in the alternate yeah. list for 1C, which there's no way that you know, they can house like 1500 players. There's no way anybody was like, you guys think that we might like run into spacing issues here on 1C? Mm -hmm. Everybody was probably just like, no fucking way. Yeah. And now here we are. Like the idea, like we were talking like maybe 20 million in the prize pool is feasible. I and then third. after yesterday happened, it was like, okay, 25 is well within sight. And I think it's like a pretty much a lock. 30 is not off 30, the table. 30 is in play. 30 is definitely, definitely in play. In play. Yeah. 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 First is just going to be 4 million. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, to, to give comparison here, uh, a, a 30 million prize pool would be roughly 45% of the main event. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Which is the biggest event. It really you know, does by... feel like the main event vibes. It does. Yeah. Like a winter version. It's really nice. Like it's, it's, I think it's hard to pull that off, especially your first year putting something Agreed. on. That's right. This is the and first And also year. you're running alongside a record breaking EPT Prague. Correct. Mm. Like there is, I was speaking with so many Europeans and none of them were interested in coming to this. What did uh, EPT get? Like a thousand runners? Uh, yeah. 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 I think like 11. Yeah. I know it's a something. million to first. So I assume it was roughly. What, would the, what would the prize pool be if Bitcoin was still 60K? <laughs> Maybe the main event, <laughs> right? right? Like they might've yeah, been turning people away. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so Thank wild. You. Like I wonder what next year is going to look like, right? Like, like, it's, it's got a, I would think it would beat this year. Well, I think there'd be right? more promotional stuff that would go on early, yeah. Yeah. which would kind of mm -hmm. help with some satellite stuff. And honestly, if it's kind of ran as it's one off and its own thing where there's not this EPT prog stuff where WSOP everyone knows and swarms and comes in yeah. and they run this same time next year and everyone knows about it and how yeah. sick it was, right. it can just do like 120%. Because right. then right. other yeah. events will That's plan around too. it. Right. Yeah. You now make the if, schedule. Mm -hmm. Do if, if it's beforehand. if it's marketed the way that WSB main event is marketed, yeah, I, I yeah. think that there's only growth in the future. There's got to be a lot of people that didn't come to Vegas uh -huh. or whatever is thinking like, why didn't I? Oh my god, yeah, why so, am I not there? So why am I not there? Well, I'm not missing this it's next also year. Like a, right? you, you get a lot of people similar to WSOP. A lot of people come into town. You see mm -hmm. people that you haven't seen in a while. Mm -hmm. So it is a very similar sort of yeah. like reunion. I think type. it's possible to make it the entire month of December. Right, add more events. Where now yeah. it's or, or more like Thanksgiving to just before Christmas. Right, mm -hmm. and now they have that block of time where it's kind of like WSOP-esque, but Yep. win and wpt version where the win is so nice man. i think i think it's once so it's televised nice. too yeah. that'll do a lot to really hype it up because like currently i don't think outside of the prize pool guarantee people understand that this is a different wpt event than like you know jacksonville or mm -hmm. right like whatever. just a local stop right like this is the championship event like this is the culmination of the season this is the biggest event on their schedule it's the biggest guarantee I think it's like pretty practical to expect growth over the short term, uh, maybe even the long term, depending on how they spin the marketing. Like, yeah. not to not that they want to mirror WSOP, but like that is the most successful brand as far as like 
uh, sheer size and, and volume goes. Yeah. There's a lot that they can do to kind of like play off of that. I remember talking with uh, some people that work at WPT and them being a little bit concerned about the 15 million. Like, are we going to yeah. hit this? Yeah, yeah. This is a really big task, really massive endeavor. And now seeing these results, it's it not double. shocking for them double, to do 20, right? 25 it's million guarantee next guarantee year. guarantee live guarantee ever right that's right yeah so yeah, yeah. yeah so they they smashed is there the anybody, is there anybody out there that had like this take it was like 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 three or four months ago was that anybody sitting there like like you know it's like it's gonna Don't smash so. it it's gonna, no it's gonna, way it's gonna, no. like there's nobody no that could that we're in a fucking recession coming, right? man i know right? everybody's broke yeah. where's all this money coming that's why everyone's trying to play they're putting their last money into the tournament wpt global is where all the money's coming from thank you wpt global shout out to them and all the free seats they gave away yeah uh, was that kind of like part of your decision whenever you uh, committed to just commentating full time, passing on the main event? Like this would be like getting offered to do the main event of the World Series? Yeah, it's, it's interesting to say it because like what half of it would go on stake. Mm -hmm. So I, I'd like to, to win. And this isn't me trying to say I'd turn down, you know, a chance of winning two million. Right, right, yeah. But it would be like two mil. And then I'd probably sell some off. Mm -hmm. And I feel like by doing this and after all the Triton stuff, I'm just thinking more about the long, the long game, if yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Like yeah. securing healthy six figures a year mm -hmm. from commentating and like being able to just go around to all of these amazing events. And secondly, I, the, the number one reason for me doing commentary has just always been the privilege of being able to commentate on poker. I grew up watching, you know, the high stakes poker and the just the WSOP. And I just always thought that it was such a privilege to call the action on these big poker events. And now that I'm in that seat, I feel like it would be, I don't really know how to explain it. I get it. I, I understand like, what like you're saying. To, to like turn it down when it's being offered to me when right. 18 year old me mm. dreamed of this shit. Right. You know? Like you would effectively That's be putting, humble. yeah, you would effectively be putting that uh, aspect of your aspirations behind you. Like as if you've like kind of making it before you've made it. If right. you pass on things like this. Yeah. I mean, the thing is as well, like a lot of people that tune, tune into the streams, I think for me like because i'm so excited and um, because i'm so humbled by actually being offered these positions it comes across that way in my commentary as well yeah i think that's why i get the engagement that i do because i treat the youtube chat and i, tr I treat the twitch chat the same way that i would want to be treated if i was watching a stream at home like i'm basically just like the bridge between the viewers and the poker i'm mm. not there as some authority i'm not there as someone that like is worth more than you know the average viewer at home i just want to have banter with the viewers and like watch people win hundreds of thousands of dollars yeah i think you do a really great job of uh keeping keeping it on task enough to be able to both like call and decipher the action in a thoughtful way but still letting emotional emotion like shine in which is why i actually think like you specifically uh fit the mold so well because i think when we think of you know a strong british voice we also think like dry authoritative yeah, yeah. and like a professor almost uh -huh. you know and you get a little caught off guard whenever somebody drills a river and your voice inflection goes up and you show that excitement of like how unbelievable this is because that's what everybody at home is yeah. reacting to yeah i think it's also like just from talking with you, I think you really do view it as like doing service for the community, which is mm -hmm. why I think you're so good at it because I feel like a lot of people will go into the booth and see it as a vehicle for self-promotion or they'll, you know, you be like dropping and watch my YouTube channel and it's yeah. just like, okay, you know, like it, it's more so about them and building their brand. But whereas you are genuinely thinking about the viewer and the people you're commentating on and like viewing it as you are doing a service, so I feel like that is like it sets you apart from a lot of the other commentators. Yeah. Thanks. I was, it's interesting. I was going to speak to you guys about that because I, I find it really interesting when people go in and they're like, hey, I'm so and so and this is my Twitter and this is my Instagram. And people be like asking me, uh, Henry, where can we follow you? Right. And it, it feels really cringe to just be like, oh, yeah, you can follow me on Henry mm -hmm. underscore Kilbane. Yeah. yeah. When there's like 10,000 people watching. It's also kind of not your role, right? Like it's just it should just be on the lower third. Yeah. You know, yeah. just have it come or a up a command in the chat or something. Yeah. Well, you know? the, yeah, there's that. Like, they should, they, it could be done in that way. But also just, like, the self-promoting thing on mm -hmm. someone else's product. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. It feels doesn't, a bit weird. Yeah, it doesn't. doesn't feel uh, right. If not prompted, for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you think that you're going to have uh, an issue 
moving forward like struggling between prioritizing commentary versus play like is there one that you aspire to do I, i've already had that for the past three years like uh, longer than that to be honest with you mm. I, i've always said that you know i'm not at uh the skill level of my friends because of commentary um and it's just evident like speaking with like my close circle of friends it's just it's not possible you can't master both and i said that on stream actually and, and a few people got really offended mm -hmm. some <laughs> other commentators that were watching got offended by me saying what's with commentators getting so offended like, they're so soft it's dude. crazy yeah I, I literally said like you cannot be an elite poker player and a full-time commentator I, I mean i agree, I agree. With that. and some people reached out to me privately and have like taken offense to it and whatnot in, in the youtube chat i was like listen i've been doing this for fucking five years bro I play 25, 25, sometimes a bit higher PLO, and I'm like game selecting. Yeah. I'm not beating, you know, Landon or Phil Galfond or whoever it is, like these guys, like they're just way too good. They've invested decades into their craft. To I, get I, th good. I think, and I know I'm gonna get uh, a lot of shit for this because uh, I, I'm always on this side, but I think like Nick is the lone exception. He is. And I think it's unique because I think he reinvented his poker career after mastering commentary. But he did, but also when it comes to Nick, Nick isn't doing commentary full time. Correct. That's also true. Like, the, and, and everyone, that's what everyone's um, response was. They're like, what about Nick Shulman? I was like, I'm not talking about Nick Shulman. And also an exception to the rule doesn't change the rule. Agreed. Yeah. Like Nick, Nick Shulman is not, if you went up to Nick, he wouldn't say that he's a full time commentator. Right. He, picks he, also, and he also like wouldn't, he also wouldn't say that he's graded either. That's true. Which is yeah, he's that ridiculous. humbleness he's is also humble. like what really drives him to be yeah. excellent at both. Mm -hmm. And I think for him, it was a it, one wouldn't have happened without the other. If he was already at an elite level of poker, I don't think he ever gets good at commentary. Yeah. Right. And vice versa, if he was already an elite commentary, he probably doesn't get good at poker. I think what happened was he was presented an opportunity to, uh, you know, kind of perform and uh, speak, as you're saying, like for the audience over these highly prestigious events and it was one that he was interested in uh you know he's al always like wanted to pursue this in boxing and pool as well so i think like when that opportunity fell into his lap he was like yes i want to pursue this and he took it seriously and at that moment i think he said like i also need to get a hell of a lot fucking better at poker mm -hmm. and like just knowing nick uh at a minimum through landon but also like knowing him uh as an aside as i know him He's just diligent and like so dedicated to this type of stuff that I think it was like hand in hand where it's like, okay, like I'm learning all of this stuff about poker. How can I now translate that into a message to the audience that's palatable? I mean, I think you, you can learn it. I do agree. Like it's you, because of the amount of time and energy it takes to become like elite, you have to be like zeroed in and mm -hmm. that be the only thing you're doing if like that's yeah. what you want to so do so i can kind of quickly like nick and i have had these conversations um about like through him when it comes to commentary when it comes to mastery and when it comes to other uh opportunities outside of the poker sphere when it comes to commentary and i can tell you that nobody is harder on themselves and spends hours of time meticulously over things that they've said or performances that they've seen when it comes to the commentary space as well as the poker space than Nick and he's very very hard on himself and puts in so much time and effort and energy into even the craft and it's very hard to become elite at both when you split your time as there's only so much time in the day as is so it's a very interesting in between and you kind of have to front load one over the other because he definitely took more time in a commentary sense while also wanting to get better at poker at an elite level. Yeah, and now it's kind of flipped. It's kind of a leverage of starting with the commentary, getting really good at that, mm -hmm. and then having this almost reinvigorated life. Right. Well, he's also established enough being... now like in commentary where like he can do like the jobs he wants to do mm, and then yeah. like focus on what he... So it's sort of like he took that time to establish himself and become like... It also forces you to take a look inside, right? Like when he starts doing commentary over a bunch of high rollers that he's not necessarily playing and seeing a lot of stuff that he's like, well, I wouldn't have considered that. Right. It's like, oh, I need to get better. Yeah. Right. And like you get that fire. And I think Nick has that fire now where poker is superseding commentary, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, it I tried this path. I got really fucking good at it. 
but that's not you enough. Know he for commentates me. pool too. Yeah. He did the, yeah. uh, he did the, the there's one that. event every year in like Indiana, I think. He just did it, right? There was yeah. a Moscone Cup that's yeah, in yeah. Vegas, in Bally's actually. Oh, okay, okay. That he just recently did for, uh, for Matchroom. Okay. I know there's one that, uh, they all travel, like JRB goes to it well, every Nick, year. I know you like fighting. <laughs> you know, I've, I've seen, I've watched a fight with you and Landon, and I, I think you'd be excellent for, uh, the event I'm putting on. Mm -hmm. it, I don't know if I can afford you, but. Well, see what I can I'll, do. I'll, I'll put it. I'll put it on his yeah. desk and see. Put see it what on I his desk do. for me. Yeah, because like just real quick, like he's had some opportunities when it comes to commentary outside of the poker sphere, and I talked to him about it and I said, "Hey, is this something that you think you want to do?" And he said, "Right now, I'm extremely drawn to playing two card mastery. Yeah, I'm yeah. just drawn to studying." playing poker as much as I can, putting in the work in that space. I think that makes sense too, because like he's an OG. He's been around for 20 plus years, uh, but he's dabbled in everything. Like he, he never, I don't really think pursued mastery in one specific game. He played so many mixed games throughout that now that uh, No Limit Hold'em specifically is so heavily studied, it's easy to kind of like fall back in love, mm -hmm. uh, especially if this like wasn't what you had been doing for the whole 20 years. Like you had this uh, sidetrack where you were really only playing some no limit tournaments here and there for fun and you're mostly playing like massive stake mixed games and right. whatever it's like it's easy to come back and say like oh well the money's here now and uh, I'm interested in getting really fucking good yeah I definitely have that with PLO as well mm -hmm. I will do, do commentary for like two months and then we'll go study somewhere for a month and then I'll come to America and I'm like I just want to grind yeah and like people are like oh do you want to go for dinner do you want to hang out I'm like no I just want to play 14 hours of live poker a day yeah, yeah. and yeah. everyone has those phases and it when it's your real friends they'll know that you're busy spending your time for you mm -hmm. yeah. where it's very easy to look at that and think selfishly yeah. like oh man he doesn't want to do anything with me he doesn't like me it's like no i don't not like you it's just grinding Grind i just time. i have things i have to do just mm -hmm. getting after that's it. where i'm drawn yeah most people have cucking season we uh what what? Cucking Sorry. season. Sorry, cuffing. Whoa, cuffing Freudian season. slip. Freudian <laughs> slip. Hold on. Hold on. Let's unpack that. Hang on a minute. Okay, I, I'll, I'll, I actually will. That. I will unpack it. So uh, this table that I had on day one A, it was it was a bunch of derelicts. It was <laughs> me. Derelicts. Whatever. Uh, it was me, Justin Young, Sean D, uh, Daniel Weinman, um, uh, Charter, and then poor Young. Mike Joe's off. Yeah. So a bunch of like literally the stars 100 rebuy from 2008 and then poor young Mike. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know what happened, but three times over the course of eight hours, cucking was referenced. <laughs> By who? One was me, admittedly. All right. Uh, All right. Uh, and I don't remember what it Oh, it was. Uh, this, is, this is actually the backstory, too. Uh, we were talking about who Mike could beat in a fight. Um, and it started with could he beat me in a fight? And he said, yes, I said, no. And Charter said, or sorry, sorry, the opposite. He said, no, I said, yes. Uh, I, I don't know how to fight. Uh, and Charter goes, well, could you beat, uh, like, if you think you could beat Berkey in a fight, could you beat Berkey and I in the fight? And I go, well, let's be very clear. Like, if Charter is involved in any sort of, like, three-way fight, he's basically just going to be, like, the cuck in a porn <laughs> sitting there watching it all go down. <laughs> And not actually get involved. Oh my gosh! And so, then organically, so, you're saying you, so you watch cuck porn? No, no, who I'm not, doesn't? I don't, I don't Wait, really. <laughs> I don't get it. I've never seen it. I don't. When it comes to kinks, for the majority of them, Guys in I the just corner with a cage on. Yeah, I just like <laughs> I never get it. I don't know. I never really get it. I think I've just been brainwashed. Would you wear a cage? No, no, like <laughs> no. I, I don't get it. A cage. What if Nikki Glaser asked you to? I uh, no. I. I mean, I think oh, she's I guess hot. You're not but like, get a date with her. What, what am I doing? I'm I'm sitting in a cage while she what? Just, just chill. What about role play? <laughs> Watch Chills. a movie. I I I don't want to act. You I'm wouldn't do that. You don't, you, don't like, you don't strike me as. He's the, very yeah. van vanilla. We there's so there's this thing called. I'm not the, vanilla. What do you mean? You test it as vanilla. <laughs> that test is so stupid. Oh come on! It's a goddamn Cosmo magazine. No, it's fucking not. Test. It's very long and yeah, detailed. It's, it's right up there with fucking. Uh, it's called the okay. So I, for you those of you who don't know, it's called the BDSM test online. You can take it. It's free, and it just like asks you like you know questions about your sexual yeah, preferences. It asks, it, when you come back vanilla, it's compared to being uh, involved in the BDSM right. community. Right. Yeah. Yes. Like but I'm like, not. I'm not saying no to most things. I just don't understand why wearing a ball gag is attractive. 
I don't get it. <laughs> it's not, not for me. I, I don't know. I don't. You will appreciate though when Caitlin was on. Uh, I don't remember what we were talking about, but uh, somehow horoscopes came up, and she just snap goes, "You're such an Aquarius." And I go, what the fuck are you talking? Like, how do you know? And she it's goes. It's so fun. Like when you're at a, like, I realize this because I feel like I've been hanging out with girls a little bit more lately. And it's like, ugh, it's like good for my soul. But, but you, I realize that one, like women are so horny and two, like <laughs> it's so fun. Cause it's just, it's like bouncing back and forth between like very graphic sex talk to like astrology, to right. like graphic sex talk to like astrology to like embarrassing stories and it's like so fun mm. oh to be a fly on the wall so fun you, you want to be there for that no i just want to be there for the sex talk i don't <laughs> no. No, no like we go in it's not it's very like sometimes it, it's almost very clinical like we're very it's not like sexy yeah Dude, you could learn so much it's yeah. got like 10 girls just like shooting the They're shit like comparing that. like s shapes of tips like it's very like you think i want to learn depth. about that henry no that's not the part i was talking Look. about she just made it she just made it awkward you get, you get 10 girls in a room talking horny talk about sex you're gonna have 10 different very 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 polarizing opinions yeah like it's a, there's a lot you learn a lot about like different preferences and yeah you learn a lot about the spectrum and probably absolutely nothing about what you're supposed to do right in you know there's scenario. no like skill like training in it's that not skill, it's yeah, just it's very skill, much like oh i really skill. like you know. right it's it, it, what you'll have is a girl going like oh i really like when he does this and you think to yourself like good i do that and then the next girl goes i oh, hate, I hate that. that yeah <laughs> like, really you like that me. i can't yeah. stand it yeah <laughs> <laughs> well, what do I do with my though. fingers? <laughs> That's so entertaining. Wait, you meant to do something with your fingers? Uh, well, once in a while, I guess. Get your so. fingers wet, Henry. Don't butt. you know this? Yeah, yeah. You gotta get. Your... That's the theme of the podcast. The theme get of the your podcast is don't fucking wet. point to me. No, I was doing this. Like uh -huh. what? I was mimicking what you could do with your fingers. Like put them in your own. In your own. You know, like <laughs> hook it right in. Why does she, she always has to go there? Right? It's it's. Uh... Welcome to the game. <laughs> Kill the game, Henry. Kill the game, Bane. I'm Kill just the game, killing Henry the game, Bane. Bane. We, we build a fucking show off of this. Literally, wow. just like hey, something. Off you of have, it. by the way, GPI. Fucking hell! If you guys don't get a GPI award for this year, I love, I love the the British. I, know, the, so I gotta the know for going, hell. so I can get it. I mean, who 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 are we even competing against? I say we. Who are you guys I, even competing against? I, I think I don't know because I, I feel like we're our own category. Like if if I put a podcast out weekly, I wouldn't want to be compared to a daily shitstorm of what we're putting out there. <laughs> that's well, that's, that's why true. we started in the first place. Yeah. That's, that's actually missing. really fair of you because I remember speaking to you last year about the GPI awards and you were telling me how stuff like that really bothered you how oh, like a, they, a once a month podcast would be competing against like right. a weekly show we, or we put out a fucking 95 minute feature length documentary and we were in the same category as like that's right i remember that book. Yeah. Yeah, yeah or or like uh a, a I think there was like a random one off podcast that like put out six episodes that year or something it was in the same category it's like what are we doing here yeah, yeah. like this yeah. is this is not the way to compare apples to apples but I get it. Like, you know, it's a new thing and award shows are already, obviously already like rigged. kind of rigged, not rigged but like, uh, you know, cool spade a spade. Well, it, depends who you're brown nosing. Yeah, maybe. But like, I, I don't even think it's a rigged thing. I don't thing. think we do a very good job of brown nosing. No, no it depends who your best friend. <laughs> Something are. tells me not my we're best, not the best at that. Not my strong suit. Uh, you know, I like to try to stay within the rules. We like to try and create enemies on this podcast. <laughs> I feel like that, a few, yeah. as a byproduct, yeah, I, I'm it. now no longer able to commentate on uh, the Hustler. So no, 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 no. It's only me they want. Okay. No. Uh, like Melissa could still play on there. No. I think you could. I don't think so. Well, well, all it would take is like you know an embarrassing public apology or some sort. We go LA yeah, next week. Yeah, it. So no, I won't be playing <laughs> on there. Right. You go. You'll catch me. Or you will sooner catch me with my pants around my ankles than making a fake embarrassing That's a fucking apology. Tuesday, Melissa. I was what about are we to talking say, about? Isn't that like... Okay, you will sooner catch me... <laughs> in church. No, I, I actually no, like church. No, because we're getting married oh, in church. Right. Yeah. Thank oh, you. it's got to be a proper. For, for the first time, he says it instead of me. And and he acknowledged it's going to be a proper wedding. To get. Well, where else are you going to get married? In a strip club? I mean, it's the Vegas, beach? bro. You there's hear, no God there, A Henry. destination wedding. I mean, there's... Destination wedding. <laughs> we, 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 the Bahamas. We, we gotta cut the show. The Aruba. Uh, I, will, I will. I will end it on this because I would like your guys' opinion. Uh, do you think that PSPC will will rival this at all? Being that it's a destination spot and twenty five k buy-in instead of ten. No. Yeah, not even close, right? Well, there's no. a big, needs a bigger barrier people. to entry because it's like 
quite costly to stay there. And dude, it's nine dollars for a bottle of water. That's the cheapest thing you're gonna get there, bro. Yeah. It, the the stay is the the lodging is like it's like twelve k for the trip. Yeah. Good luck with that. It was a hard trip. And the buy-in is obviously high, but they only need a thousand runners as opposed to the fucking twenty-eight hundred that the wind's gonna get. Oh wait, they've got a twenty-five mil guarantee on, do they? No, no, no. I'm just asking. Do we think they can get a comparable prize pool? I think it's a fifteen mil guarantee. They're gonna smash the guarantee. The, the PSPC. Yeah. Oh, I think you're being very generous. Oh, they'll still smash it. They give away so many seats. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Stars just like fires off platinum passes like Oprah giving away cars. Yeah, well, I mean, if you're giving them away, you know, I'm putting on a fight later on this year. And <laughs> so I would love to like promote you Maybe guys we in exchange the fight for Island. seats. Winners of the fights get platinum passes. I'm really excited for this fight. Guapa will be in there. I mean, I want to. Are you going to be the Joe Rogan? I want to like be like. I don't know. I keep just, updates on people's betting lines. Like, who are you I just, guys betting? I just want to be a part of it. Can we for get, sure? Can we I just want to see everybody there. throw down. I I want Guapo to be the in ring uh, commentator like Joe Rogan. We just have to like work on his enthusiasm. Well, I, wanna, a little I bit. would like to. If Henry's not going to fight, I would hi- like to have him. Oh, that's actually strong. Yeah. You know, if Nick, if I, I can afford, if I can afford, of course Nick, you want to fight. I want to fucking yeah, so fight. There are some people in this industry. That I'm not allowed to go after verbally, but I would love to share the ring yeah. for 15 minutes. The irony is that the list that you curated of people that you would want to fight <laughs> was like people that you highly respect and enjoy. Right. Oh yeah. Well, that was that was like a different list. That that was the that was the public the list. That list. was the public list. Yeah, like, that was the public and, list. No, but saving honestly, face. I would little. love to. It, so what is it? So it's going to be playing heads up and then sharing the ring, right? I don't know. I think that we might not even do a poker because I feel like it doesn't make sense. Like yeah, chess, skip the poker. I understand, right. but the poker there's it's like what are you going to play seven hands and then fight? Like I think let's <laughs> just fight and we'll. We'll, we'll sort of like maybe we'll do like a um i don't know something you, you we'll do, do involved like, poker somehow you could do but. like a heads up sit and go uh prior to the matches and like mm. you know have that like kind of play out maybe uh, i don't know no I don't know, i'd tough. rather just have like just fight uh yeah just fight and yeah. that's it yeah. and you then, could have like you know. a heads up sit and go and just like film just make sure that you have like a camera crew that catches like that, the last that was hand. what i was kind of saying like similar so to what get, wpt did with yeah, the 25k so you get like the last hand oh henry lost the heads up against whoever whatever and now they're now he has to win by knockout instead of tko yeah. or something and then okay. jason coon just like absolutely destroys me but yeah, yeah but that's not who you're actually fighting i, I would love to to spar with with jason it would be like intense yeah it would be tough he wants to get his brain wrapped and, 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 I, and i would take the training seriously if i knew i was fighting jason coon but what if you be, knew you were fighting someone you hate? I well, no. It depends. It depends how much I respected their fight game. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But that's that's why I would take Jason really seriously. I would literally be on a flight to Phuket and I'd be training for just three months straight. Right. But if it's like someone like Landon, then I'm just going to show up on the day. And, <laughs> right. You know. I get it. I mean, I feel like you know, like I feel like there's like I know enough people in the industry i feel like i can get some sponsors like i would obviously want it to be done really well and like right and give myself enough time to plan it but i, I think- like love throwing this type of stuff together i plan my whole girl i plan my whole senior week when we went <laughs> we went to virginia beach so a bunch of 18 year olds 26 of us actually wow we shared a 10 bedroom house wow and i i managed to get payment from all 26 people wow. that's yeah, that is strong the from 18 year olds i gotta tell you the uh the local yeah. the local Start 21 collecting. year old boys that were working at all the places down there were very oh thrilled. no we were all banging each other oh based uh, keep it in <laughs> keep it in the family incest Not is incest. Appreciate, incest. That. appreciate that less in- based um, incest is incest I, I think that if we can clip, clip that if we <laughs> no don't clip that <laughs> don't take it out of context entirely no I think that if we can replicate anything even ten percent as good as what the chess boxing match was yeah. uh, that, that was be a waste. that was really well done like yeah, super well, well done. done so I feel like if we can get a very you know fractional version of that you gotta start somewhere and then maybe you know I got a vision five years from now okay after the poker boom. Mm-hmm happens from our queen scam poker Gambit. fight po- poker fight club that's, EFC, this is it. yeah poker like fight that. club yeah. i wonder if you'll have to fade the athletic commission i don't know how that works you know what athletic commission suck my dick suck. <laughs> At last time you i checked man. we're in a uh, free country oh uh, right well there's always fight island worst case yeah. scenario we you make know. it a destination fight spot mm-hmm. oh yeah. thailand all day mm-hmm. yeah Kosa yeah. movie yeah. yeah they just kill people there there's a oh. massive poker scene in thailand anyways so. really 
Oh, it's huge. Underground or above ground? No, like all of like some of the best poker players in the world just reside in, in Phuket. <laughs> All of really? ground. Yeah. Well, isn't it just like it's super cheap to live and if they... Yeah, I it's thought just... they were just grinding online. Yeah, they are. They're just like everyone's just like running sims all day, every day and just enjoying the beach. And some of them are enjoying the other things that Thailand has. To oh, mm -hmm. okay. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. He's implying sex. All right, Conrad, why don't you take us home? <laughs> <laughs> You've been quiet for a minute there, mate. Oh, Oh, Conrad seems to be gone. Runner, oh. I hope you uh I hope you protect yourself. Conrad left an hour hope ago to come running. get your ass. Uh he was certain that you would be playing while we were streaming as to uh keep us at bay. So Because Conrad is the only person that can maybe win this. Right. Clearly. Well, honestly, I'm I'm pulling for him. I'm I'm pulling for him. Yeah, 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 sure. yeah, yeah I am pulling for him. Henry, Melissa, thank you both for joining us. We appreciate we'll see you at the wedding. Uh we're all looking forward to it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh we'll vlog it. <laughs> It'll be great. Yeah. It'll be a nice little scene. You guys will have to come back before the honeymoon. All right, sure. booked. Yeah, thank you. All right, uh, that's going to do it for us today. Uh, we're going to be back tomorrow at 10 a.m. sharp because it's day two, ladies and gentlemen, go. and I got chips in a fucking bag, as Let's does go. Conrad. Conrad actually has twice as many chips as me. Let's so. go. I yeah, got you got pizza him, him obviously. I got a piece of Corey. I yeah, got a piece of some other guy Corey. from Twitter. Mr. Mr. Corey has three times as many yes. chips as I do. <laughs> I'm, just keep I'm going starting up to race. like understand the life of a peace buyer. And like, I have I'm sick like, wow, pieces in this. Like, I don't have mm -hmm. to play this whole long day of tournament. I can just like have a piece. This yeah. is the perks of commentary, by the way. I just get access to right? stone cold killers. They're like, oh, Henry, yeah, sure. You're yeah. not, you're not a threat. I'll give you a two ball. Huh? Two yeah. balls, nice. Yeah. You're not balls a threat. Nice. Yeah, they're just like, I'll speak strategy with you because you're not a threat. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. We love to see it. Love to see it. All right, we'll be back you. 10 a.m. tomorrow. Until then, thank you guys. We'll see you later. Peace. Bye-bye.